Hello. Uh, so, once again, I have with me the Elk of Hammers. Uh, Travis is with me. We are going to be playing yep. Hammer to the surprise. What's up, no y'all? <laughs> yeah. That's all I do, man. Yeah. <laughs> if he's on here, you can assume we're, we're probably playing this deck. Um, but yep. we're playing like a super weird build. I mean, okay, weird's maybe the wrong word. That's... Weird for what ham- the like trajectory of Hammer lately. Like, this is a pretty derailed list from what we've been doing for a while now. Yep. Um, yep, yep. Yeah, so we have like a lot to talk about before we even start. Um, where do you want to start? <laughs> yeah, so we we can start kind of with the with the main deck changes yeah. we made. So, so like, Ginger Brute <laughs> feels yeah, it feels a lot worse than it has basically ever. Um, Yogmoth being one of the top decks certainly makes Ginger Brute like heinously worse. Um, it also just like isn't so, like it's really, why no, is go. that? I so I think it's a combination of just like the cards lining up better against ginger brute okay. but specifically a lot of because it used to be the answers were all like oh i'll kill your creatures yeah. but over the last you know year plus uh whenever kamigawa started like came out uh neon dynasty um and then was leyline binding in dynasty or was in the next set uh, uh leyline binding remember. was in i think it was it was, it was in a different set whatever. it was a uh, domain yeah yeah it was dominaria yeah. yeah. So between Leyline Binding and Basaju, yeah. they people weren't really attacking your creatures. They were really attacking your equipment or okay. your sagas, right? So like Ginger Brute, just like not great. Uh, it's fine if you want to play it. So it's like, all right, move that over there. And then Cauldre is the other card that I think is like kind of medium right now. So it used to be yeah. you stick a Cauldre and you win the game. They could That's just like never answer it. But now every yeah. answer is an exile. Yeah, so it's it's ley line binding, prismatic ending, um, and then like even the yeah haywire might the uh, ley line scion decks. um, Even if they don't have like ley line binding, if all you're doing is like the cauldra, Mm -hmm. then they can just race it with a a single scion, right? They just like for you gain four, for you gain four, and so it's like I just don't think that's where it's at. Also, coat kind of doing what both of these cards does, but a little bit better. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's giving so, you the evasive, yeah. the evasive part. So, yeah. Exactly. I mean, so it it seems like uh, what I was gonna say is like it seems like these are very small changes. We're only taking out two cards, but these are two singleton cards that are search targets for a lot of uh, you know like these are yep. it's ma- it's a lot bigger than just like two cards coming out. These are these are like exactly. massive pieces of the deck coming out. Um, so like yep. not to undersell like don't undersell these no, for sure. these are like dramatic changes um yeah yeah so what are we doing instead it's, yeah so it's a question of okay well like if those cards aren't great what do we want to do and i think especially like right now people are like how you know the leyline scion decks are really popular and i think hammer's best plan against that is just like kill them yeah um cuz you you can raise scions and so just I, not with that Caldera. led me to <laughs> right now with Caldra with uh, with a bunch of hammers usually. Yeah. So I like I was like you know what let's let's throw a couple Mem Knights back in and keep in mind like I haven't gotten to do fully like thorough testing but like mm-hmm. these have felt quite good um because they do just let you go a lot faster um right. you just go like you're getting more Spring zero drops drum, in the deck Mem Knight yeah. yeah and then you just like yeah you can you can turn to hammer just like a lot more reasonably um turn to like, and attack then, with hammer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then the I have like two Steel Shapers gift quite a bit because the Cryptic Coat made them a lot better. Mm-hmm. That being said, if you cut the Cauldra, then you really just have Hammer, Shadow Spear, and Coat to grab, and I I don't think that's quite enough to warrant like two plus Steel Shapers gifts. And so we're gonna we're gonna try the Nettle Cyst again. Um, it's fine. I think Nettle Cyst also gains a lot of value when you have more zeros in your deck, which we're back up to like a full six. Mm-hmm. Um, and it plays really nicely with coat. Like you just put it on a coat and yeah. you're like seven them unblockable. True. Yeah. Getting to play so the Mennonites uh, again, like you said, playing more zeros and stuff. It's like makes maybe our sagas marginally better too. You know, mm-hmm. like they're, you know, they're it's yep. more realistic that a Memnite will be in play than we're able to get like a cauldron player or whatever. So, 
Yes. Um, yeah. Oh, culture. The other thing was like one of the best, like obviously the best egg in the format for many, many months was scam. And if you ever suck a culture, you won the game. Yeah. So and that, that was the other reason. It's like, yeah, a lot less present right now. Yeah. Um, and then the other piece. So yeah. So I added the two mem nights and, uh, the nettle cyst and i needed to make one more cut so i moved a surge to the sideboard um i think game one the plan is just be very proactive mm -hmm. um have effectively zero dead cards and just kind of jam and then you can get very uh you know interactive and a little you know grindier post board which is kind of where you want to be um i basically just cut the fourth reprieve slash failure effect um that's that's kind of where we we found which the i think that's fine if you like it starts i, I feel like four feels like a lot of that card. Like, I do think it that it ends up, it, it was better than we thought it was going to be, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know if you want to be, like, packing a full play set of them, you know? In the main, it's pretty rough. Yeah. Um, I'd probably oh, no, be no, no. inclined I meant to play the, one Sorry, sorry, I meant, the, I meant the failure reprieve. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, playing, like, a ton of yeah. those kind of felt like a lot of them. Four felt like a lot. Yeah, Titan's also Titan's also not super popular. It's not as popular as I think it probably should be for how good it is. Yeah, um, and this is like the last decade. <laughs> Titan, yeah, Titan has never... remained tier zero or tier one. <laughs> <laughs> it is never as popular as it should be. Okay. Yep. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, so that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, I think those are like the only real changes. Um, oh, the other reason I like Mem Knights a lot more because uh, Bowmaster is just like a lot less prevalent than it used to be. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. Feeling more it's like because it was mostly actually. scam. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Um, I mean, the like, other thing, you know, Yogmoth still playing it or whatever, but for sure. But like you've got bad cards against them anyway. Also, like having the ability to go faster game one is huge against them. Uh, true. So that's really true. nice. Um, Oat actually better against Yogmoth than than Cauldra in my experience at this point. Interesting. Just being able to yeah. like fully ignore the board, whereas like Cauldra only got to like mostly ignore it. <laughs> you know, like they still could throw enough material in front of a Cauldra sometimes to not get them dead, but they they can't really do anything about the coat. Yeah, so there's that piece. There's also the issue of, like, they can, if they get a Yogg down, they can just pay five life and kill it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Whereas, yeah, true. Yeah. If it, if it is specifically the that token still, right? Right, yeah, yeah. It makes a Ward 2 token, which is really, really good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of where we're at. The extra speed is nice. Also, the extra Mem Knights make sideboarding a little bit easier, honestly, because against decks like Yogmoth, obviously Mem Knight's pretty heinous, but that still leaves you with like your four Ornithopters. Mm -hmm. So you can you can play around a little bit more. So like you you bring in like these seven, eight cards against Yogmoth. Um, and then you can just cut like I think I think Nettlesis is pretty heinous against them. And you just cut like that and then one other card. Probably a gift. Uh, Steel Shaper's gift or an ornithopter. But yeah. Sweet. Depends on the vibes. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> That's always the case. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so we're we're trying trying some science out. Yeah, and try. if it sucks, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Definitely. That's what that's what we're doing. Well. Sweet. Let's give it a shot. All right. Let's go. Hammer yeah. Hammer has not been doing the best lately. So this is this is the time to really like play around with the numbers, play around with some, you know, unconventional ideas and whatnot and you know, try to break the mold kinda kinda deal, you know? Yep. Exactly. It's also like the format's kind of in a weird spot because I think the uh Yeehaw set is gonna have some quite oh, quite an impact. And then M H three. We yeah, MH3 yeah. is a big one. We should actually briefly mention the boots that got um the sure. boots that got spoiled today. Uh, let me see oh. if it's on if I can get like an image of it on Mythic Spoiler. There I got it. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So um they did a ton yeah. of there cards uh spoiled today, and one of them were these lava spur boots that are actually like pretty interesting for hammer. Um it's a one drop. So you are able to get it off of your Urza Sagas. And for one to equip, which is like really key that that equip cost is really cheap as well. Um, 
it like had to be one or zero, I think. Uh, but yeah. it is uh, equipped creature gets one o haste and ward one. Um, this I think does have some real potential in hammer. Uh, this is yeah. turning all of your threats, unlike Ginger Brute, where it is like a haste threat you can get from your saga. Now it's something you can get from your saga that makes everything a haste threat. Um, you were mentioning yep. like how powerful this could be uh, if you draw like an ink moth off the top. Now, boom, that's killing them right away if you've got a setup to hammer it. Um, this is like really powerful uh, with the with Urza Saga just entirely by itself because it lets you go make construct again. This was this was stuff Travis said. I'm just stealing his ideas. Uh, <laughs> it's make construct into make second construct on your you know on your turn, and then that second construct immediately is able to attack alongside the first one, which I think you said seven damage like alone. seven yeah because yeah. you got the yeah the two three three constructs one of them's now a four three with ward one and now can also attack that seem to like that's a lot that's a lot that makes your saga do quite a bit on its own um yeah i, I think it has some I promise just, yeah it does a lot for very little investment yeah. so yeah it definitely something i'm gonna yeah yeah, I saw saw these kind of leaked a while ago, I think like a few weeks ago, and I was like unimpressed at first. And the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, it's probably good. <laughs> there might be something here. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll, we'll try it. Yeah. yeah. It's also like you can put on a coat. Now you have a 4-3 um, <laughs> unblockable creature. It's like and, just a lot of different stuff. And like the ward stacks, right? Like, it, does that work? <laughs> if there's yes. two different things. Yeah, it's 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 that. two instances. Yeah. yeah, I would have ward one and ward two. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you put on if you put on like a sentinel, that's fun too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because it is. You, you pump up power. the jam. That is nice. Yeah, and ward. and ward. So if they want to get rid of it against the matchup, but they really want to get rid of that sentinel, it's going to cost them. Wow. Yeah, costs a lot. You're getting a card. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. getting a damn card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and if you're not i mean it's got to be a great tempo swing or you know so yeah i i, I think those are interesting. all right they paid five yeah exactly <laughs> yeah how much a lightning bolt would cost two additional for the sentinel because it's a two one so one three mana plus one for the ward so yeah lightning bolt costs four mana if they don't want to have us draw a card or it get it countered that's pretty good yeah, fair enough if you want to pay four mana for lightning bolt i'm, I'm mm -hmm. i'll allow it yeah <laughs> Psych surge. <laughs> yeah, it's JK. I'm glad you spent your entire your entire turn doing this. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely an interesting one. I don't know if any other cards like jumped out. There's like there, there's like a two mana Jace that's really weird. Um, yeah, the card's either terrible or insane. I don't think there's right, any middle ground. Right, it's definitely either going to break the game <laughs> or be awful. I'm not, I, I really yeah. can't tell. It's definitely one of those cards. Um, the plot mechanic is, like, very powerful. Uh, Yeah, yeah. It seems All strong. Right. All right, we're on the draw. We got Ooh, all right. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you keep it. Right? What, what are you thinking? Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, I mean we, we have we keep this. Yeah, three I, equippers and I a wish, hammer. Yeah, I wish like, one of the equippers was obviously a you know a stone forge, yeah. a hammer, or a steel shapers. But you know we've got the saga, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm all I'm all about it. Hold the five. Love to see that. Jeez. Got the oh boy in chat too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I, okay. You know if this is if this is the Amber, I, I think I do. Yeah, Amber, they're they're cool. Um, Twitter friends, basically. Gotcha. <laughs> Four cards. All right. Well, I might just not find out what she's on game one. We're gonna we're gonna learn. Hey, um, that's she's awesome. She's typically man. a hammer gamer, but I think she's figuring out nope, not a hammer game. Not, right All right. Not today. <laughs> so let's let's see what they find. Nan, that's uh that's awesome to hear. Saga. Okay, so I would guess scales. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I'm like I it's like um, the only deck that's like still playing that card, right? <laughs> 
Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fetch. Yeah, I think that's um, fine. I'm fetching fetch, with grab. the flooded strand because I like the yeah I like the art better, so I want to look at this one more. Oh, okay. You like the art of windswept more. Correct. Yeah, yeah it, it is the better of the two. They are both bad, but it is the better of the two. <laughs> How dare you, dude! I'm so excited for the reprints of them. I I like. I really like the arts and the reprints, and I'm also I'm a I'm a cons fanboy. I love the cons art. I love those dragon. Fine. Bones. We can all be wrong. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're troning. Okay. Interesting. All right. Interesting. Yep. All yeah, right. I definitely would. Sadly, we don't have two hammers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or even one. <laughs> I, th- I think we're troning. I don't. I don't know, man. Yeah. No, it certainly looks like troning. Um, and I think I will actually throw out this aid here. Um, because now that we have like nettle system in the deck, having the extra enchantments does okay. matter. See, I would have, um, and I, I would have thought okay. no, because like specifically, I mean, I guess they have no Tron lands in play. I'm a little bit worried about Yikes. like mass sweeping effects, you know, like, um, right. Oh stone or something like that. And just like sandbag, I guess we have the forge new still in our hand. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Um also yeah, we have the Forge and the Paladin. Yeah, yeah. Um also if we get a second creature into play, the hammer is relevant here. Jesus. <laughs> you wanted more lands, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah more lands and more quivers. Hell yes. yeah. Yes, yeah. Um So Yeah, we're just gonna make right. a construct. Just it is something right, yeah. but Yeah, so it, it is something to consider. Um, having the paladin down now because then we get like an extra card off of the the hammer, um, True. and we get two. Oh, am I, am I convincing like... myself? Hmm. We're not attacking. Yeah, I'll tell you that. Getting that card, I think, is like maybe pretty real with how like dead our hand is. Yeah, I think so too. And if we rip like I'm about it. Stoneforge, Steel Shaper, or just Raw Hammer, then we act like just win next turn, you know? And that's like quite exactly. A few and we have, yeah, we have two Steel Shapers gifts, four hammers. Um, oh, I and... guess we don't just win. I guess we don't just win because they do have their own saga. So, in one of those hammers is going to be equipped at sorcery speed. Well, I mean, we can we can get Fortune New depending on what we draw as well, so we can move things around at instant speed. Well, I, I don't think we'd be able to forge a new and play an additional hammer. And I mean, I guess unless we draw exactly a hammer, right? Because we'll only have one. Additional yes. Hammer. Yeah. If we draw, if you draw a hammer and they and she doesn't have a second creature here. All right. So here's a dismember. Probably. I would assume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does seem that way. Okay. Saga. The weirdest game of Tron I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah. Uh, you know. I mean, mold the four, right? Like, oh, can, only, can only do so much. Ooh, that's annoying. All right. Well, I'm glad we're drawing the extra card. Yeah, yeah, true, <laughs> true, true. All right. Hey, thanks, Dan. I might attack to send a message. <laughs> with what attack? Oh, like just with, with the hammered thing? Yeah, I guess because we're getting a hammer. Because like they have a three three, <laughs> so we can't get like too loosey goosey with it. All right, All right here. Big, big money on this draw. Large yeah. dollars. They're still not going to be able to assemble Tron next turn because they still only Correct. have one Tron land in play. Um, and no, good keeping it on the paladin. Um, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to play out the Sentinel here and move the, the hammer there. Um, and I think yeah, we actually like do that. just play out the midnight, like whatever. That's what I'm saying. Like, because um, they don't have, they are, they're only on one Tron land. I like, I kind of want to just dump, you know? Yeah. I have no fear. Yeah. That's right, take one. <laughs> the old ring playing for the home team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 
Yeah, I think just doing like whatever we could do here to maximize like board presence as well as potential to draw additional cards. So like getting that Asper yep. Sentinel suited up, playing that Pure Steel Pal, and I like playing towards that because they're even though they are going to be drawing a lot of cards with with the One Ring, they there is no way they're going to assemble Tron any sooner than at least next turn cycle. So yeah. I'd be, I'd be surprised if they didn't assemble yeah, next yeah. turn. I expected next turn, <laughs> but but you know, I, I we know we have at least one more window here where they won't have yep. it. Also, moving the hammer off of the paladin means that it can attack under a bridge much more reasonably. Oh yeah, I guess that is something we should be thinking about. Card mm -hmm. creator and whatnot. Yep, yep. Forge new being a really nice card when bridge is a factor. Yes, assuming there's no there's no uh, Karn. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I guess <laughs> that's a good point. All right, there's that. I like stone. cards. Yep. Ooh. See, I you wish we those boots. had a. We need those boots. <laughs> I know. It's like, give me those <laughs> <laughs> we need those boots to come out, All man. Right. Um, you might be able to kill her. It is nice because of the fortune. Yeah. It is also nice, like, Ink Moth is maybe something we'll be able to work with, like, post them sweeping things up, you know, if they do. Yeah, so if we play Ink Moth, play Forge Anew, um, play Forge Anew. They're at 18. Go to attacks. Gonna we be attack 16. with everything. Yeah. Yeah. So I would assume she blocks here because... It's the biggest thing as a base. One, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Well, hmm. If we play Ink Moth, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to If think. we're not so killing we... them, what's like the worst case scenario? Like Ugin or whatever doesn't clear all of our colorless stuff. Ulamog. So we... Not even that bad if we can get him really low. Yeah, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. So we play the Ink Moth. It's probably Karn locking us out or another One Ring that I'm most afraid of. Yeah. Like, they they would need to get rid of the One Ring as well or they die, right? Because we're still going to be able to deal a ton of damage. So well, I'm, 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 probably, oh, are we going to be able to deal enough for it to be dead here? Like, for us to go... That, I don't it? think we can do 16. So not if she blocks the Construct. Um... Because we can play the Ink Moth and animate the Construct, which turns yeah. it into a 6-6. Six, six. Um, so she doesn't... So she blocks here, takes 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, and then they, she goes to 1? I mean, I'm I'm kind of about uh, yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> um, I guess... If only like, we were playing Blink Moth instead. <laughs> <laughs> so the consideration to not play the Forge Anew is, yeah. say we... So I would move the hammer to the Memnite here, right? Mm -hmm. So move the hammer to the Memnite. Back with everything. She blocks here. Takes we animate, so it takes six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If she then pops the O stone, she can just do that in combat next turn. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. What happened to no surveillance? I'm not playing any surveillance. Uh, we're not playing any surveillance. <laughs> what do you mean? That's that's what happened. <laughs> none, of, none of these cards are surveillance. Secret room coast. Oh. I am cut, tempted to just like cut. <laughs> are, do I have like the deck list posted or something? And it's garbage and wrong. That could be the case. That'd be my guess. We're very lazy about posting the deck list when we do these streams together. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, so it's four. Yeah, all right. Take 15, go to three, untap, go to two. Man, I wish something had had first strike. <laughs> <laughs> right. I yeah, we, we lose by cutting Cauldra. We fully lose that interaction, huh? Yeah, but it's I think that's okay. Anymore. Yeah, it, it's not like it, like it, it came up, but not that often. Um, it came up probably in like two percent of games. Yeah, it was yeah. sweet. It was super sick when it mattered. We got to do it once on stream. That was pretty cool. <laughs> it was awesome. Okay, did we find another ring? 
And isn't this card just so fun? Dude, you see how expensive <laughs> it's getting? Because, like, I think people... It's oh, like, it keeps going up, yeah. I think it's, like, finally registered with people that, like, this card is very good in every format it's legal in. And mm-hmm. it's probably not going to get reprinted very easily because of the nature of it. Um, yeah, that's a hard one to reprint. Yeah, I mean, it's like, mm-hmm. I think even just, like, normal copies of it are, like, 75 bucks or something right now. Card's getting loot. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, all right. There's the ring. What do we get? It's fine. We get a card. Okay. It's not okay. a terrible card. And she can't really draw off of it, so. Oh, yeah, true. That's a good point. She also cannot crack Oblivion Stone. Well, I guess, like, it's the protection doesn't really matter, but. Okay. With the protection, that doesn't matter. Well, I should be playing Bone Crusher Giant. Scry, scry uh, away. Yeah. <laughs> should you? <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Stomp, stomp myself, kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Man, go back to Red White Hammer with the with, uh, magnetic theft. <laughs> oh, perfect. Let's go. Yeah, I love All right, whatever. Home. I'm attacking to send a message. Yeah. Well, they said, this is my first league with Hammer. Go easy on me. I thought your response should have just been no. <laughs> <laughs> just the flat no. Oh, uh-huh. okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, no, no. We're not We're not playing any uh, no archives. No archives. Uh, what are you talking about with the first strike? Uh, so the little trick you can do uh, is if you have a creature with first strike and you have uh, Forge Anew, you can attack. So say you have Cauldron, which has first strike. You can attack. First strike damage can happen. And then you can Forge Anew, swap the hammer to something else, and then that thing hits with the hammer too. So you can kind of double dip with a single hammer, getting it on the uh, the first yep. strike attack and then additionally on a uh, on a creature that's attacking normally. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So Cauldra was our was our only source of first strike in the deck, though. So with this iteration where we're currently not playing Cauldra, we kind of lose that fun little trick. Okay. So I got six mana. All right. Uh, I will take a hammer off the top, please. Oh, wouldn't complain. <laughs> I'd also take uh, a like cryptic a lot coat. Of things. Yeah, like yeah. I would take a yeah uh, any any variant of a hammer, right? And Stone Forge, whatever. Obviously, Nettle any of those. Sis. Nettle Sis would be good. I take a. I would just take a Shadow Spear to get a redraw with the Paladin. Like, sure. There are four cards. Hey, all there right. we go. All right, that's pretty good. I don't hate this. Yep. yep. Mm-mm. You can get a hammer. Ginger root, no ginger root uh, in the deck right now. We are not playing ginger root. Also, can't can't get a ginger root because it's not equipment. Right, right. They were they were <laughs> calling not off the stone forge, but just to draw oh, it off sure, the sure. top. Oh, just, just because one they're year. at one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, so we can't kill here. Do you want to just? Like, and we can. We don't have enough mana to go. We only have two artifacts. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna fetch. Yeah, I think we're like a mana short and an artifact short. Yep. We are. You just like draw the card. Though, um, right? Yeah. Oh, definitely gonna try to draw the card here. Jesus. Uh, maybe we should put that uh, surveil land back in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was um, saying. Yeah, if only we had Blink Moth instead. <sighs> okay. uh, yeah, sure. All right, whatever. I mean, like, it doesn't matter. They're at one. Who gives a shit about the hammer? Like, yeah, other, it everything. With Ink Moth, but like everything's <laughs> lethal, I guess. It, that just made the Ink Moth lethal. It's the only thing that wouldn't be otherwise. Yeah. Honestly, that was probably good for us. <laughs> like, <laughs> just like thinning that okay. land out of our deck. Sure. Okay. So that's bad. <laughs> I 
It's not as bad as it could be. Well, it depends on the other cards in in her hand, right? Yeah. Because unless they can play every card in their hand, then Bridge won't do this because we do have a lethal yeah, stone. They could grab, a, like, grab Cityscape, right? Walking Ballista is probably able to get big enough here. They can make a 3 I'm thinking Cityscape level, right? Right, right. Because that, level isn't that, I always forget, what does that blow up? Non-land? Any non-land, yeah. Any non-land, okay. It exiles. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, like, anything like, beats us here. Paladin. Like okay. Sure, sure. I think... Yeah, probably, pretty, pretty sure we're dead. I mean, we, well, we rip, like, nine lands. So them's the beats. Oh, I also just miscounted how much mana was there. Those are towers. <laughs> not <laughs> Those are towers and not two mana ones. Oh, my God, mm. that is a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, we're dead to that for sure. Yeah. I'm trying to think... Do we draw? I don't think there's anything we can do, but yeah, you know. I, I have no idea what we could draw. But yeah, so fun fact: should have just gotten the uh, the coat. Oh, coat does play nicely. Ward plays nicely against Ballista. Would yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Also, Interesting. she was at one, <laughs> so it's lethal. Yeah, so getting uh, the, so, so is how much how much mana did we? Needles. I guess we just don't play the Paladin then, right? We just go Stoneforge, get Coat, play Coat. Yeah. Stoneforge, play Coat, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Sentinel, I think we We wanted cut. that card draw, but yeah, that makes sense. We were thinking, like, we were a little blinded, I guess, by the card draw, but also, like, it did potentially set up the Ink Moth also being a lethal threat, which yes. is appealing because of things like Worm Coil and whatnot that could gum up the ground and then... You know, and those are things that are probably just naturally in the deck. Mm, All right. You're just gonna go fast. Okay, you actually you like taking out the Esper Sentinels here. Yeah, because we have the Memnites as zeros as well. I'm sorry. Uh so yeah, we're just gonna play a turn one Springleaf Drum saga. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, sometimes you know, you think like the Esper Sentinels obviously like they fall off mid to late game once they assemble their Tron, but like along the way potentially pick you up some cards you know yeah well it's it's so more I, see them I usually i'll keep them if i have the uh the bodies for it um but uh because we have six zeros we don't need to keep the sentinels as much okay. like they're fine yeah yeah weird you got it <laughs> I, they probably just don't have enough to cut oh my, my gosh <laughs> um hmm. i do are, are we gonna try to <laughs> i think i'm just gonna go like this is like kind of weird i'm thinking about i think i'm just gonna I go wanna play the other song <laughs> yeah no i think i think we are yeah because um, uh, i'm thinking about like besaju being a card that we like starting next turn that we're yeah thinking about yeah i think it's i think it's just saga thopter make and like attack yeah. the one make oh, a construct yeah or i was gonna say wait don't attack but i forgot we had the ornithopter in hand yeah i am playing the ornithopter out first in case like there's i don't know force of vigor yeah, yeah, yeah. which whatever <laughs> right. uh, it was a consideration to play the forging of like that turn but i cards think to do that i don't think Maybe they do. Not reasonably, but people kind of do whatever they want, man. That's true. <laughs> okay. I like that. Tron next turn, but slow, slow Tron. Mm-hmm. Well, and I'll, I might, depending on what we draw, we could get a needle and name map. Okay, I kind of like that. Just make a construct. I can, uh, yeah, so... I just hope the tower this? is not just in hand. <laughs> That's interesting. So, yeah, I could name map. Mm -hmm. um, I don't hate that. Or, I mean, this is floating mana regardless, so yeah. this is fine. Okay. 
So we can get a hammer mm-hmm. and then play Things the forge. We're thinking about like hammer. this turn. Dismember could be a thing. Yep. Yep. Exactly. If the construct could have gotten to like a six six, yeah. that's a different story. Yeah. Um. So yeah, if we, so like I'm I'm not sure. Is it even like good to tag the map? Right. So they can't activate map now. They have to untap, use the map, presuming they don't just have their Tron piece, mm-hmm. and then play it. What if we just name like O Stone or Karn the Great Creator instead? Well, if we name Karn, Karn is still locking us out of equipping. Right, but who cares? We just kill them with just like some big ass constructs. Yeah. Are we going to get to make another construct, though, here? We could make one right now, um, but I don't think we are. That's what Honestly. We're, we're going to have, like, one construct, I think. I'm just going to I'm just going <laughs> to That's what I'm thinking. I think we us, just like. do it. Like, <laughs> I think, I yeah, think we might do be, the thing. I think we might be getting too cute if we go for the needle line. I think so. Yeah. Like, if we got to, like, get probe them here, you know, then, like, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm down for the needle. But, like, yeah. I think we're supposed to just go for it. Make um, them have I'll thing. tap the... It's just too easy if we here. need one thing, they're going to have something else. If I was going to needle, I would probably yep. needle the map. That's reasonable. Um, you should put it on the Memnite, right? Yeah, I think so. Because this member kills either one. Right, and we'd rather at least connect for nine total damage this turn rather than... Do um, five I guess be. the reason to not put it on the Mem Knight is if they play, like... If they have Nat E-Tron, they go, like, Tron, play Karn, play Bridge, then the Mem Knight can't attack, but, like... We have one thought for though. Yeah, but we can't move it if they... Oh, I guess if they have Bridge, we can, but... Not with the Karn in play. Okay, well, I like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. All right, going you're three. three. Yeah, huge fan. So, yeah. I guess Karn Bridge is their out. Like, natural tower here, Karn Bridge. And that would put them at four cards in hand. But then we could Stoneforge get a hammer. Nope, that doesn't work because it's not. Oh. Yeah. It is still a forge new. That is the it's, one downside yeah, it's, to the it's forge. It's still new. not a cigar to say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, that's a little scary. Yep. Uh, one ring would be good I mean, too. Yeah, but then we can needle it. So I'm not like oh, as yeah, worried about true. that one. That's true. Hey, what's up, Donnie? How do you do, fellow kids? Hello, kids. <laughs> Ooh, right, there we go. okay, okay, okay. They make us sweat and then concede. Interesting. Yeah, got to got to think uh, think about all the lines. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so what do we want to do here? I still think the endings are good enough. I want all the equippers. I want, I think, all the hammers. Could cut shadow spear. I think that's fine. Could cut Shadow Spear for like one or two. Damn, failure. I'm like so not sold on the endings, but it's really good when they go like turn one, like map. Yeah, you go, go turn one, exile your map. Oh, I know. But then it's like so bad. Like it's not even just. It's like dead every other case. That's what has me worried. But it's like not. It's you like can kill can, Pithy can, like, Needle. Yeah, I guess we can. It, it sucks. We can like never kill a bridge. Hey, you can. Oh, we can withdraw. If the Karn isn't on, if the Karn's on the board, not we can. Play. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If the Karn's not in play, it's true. Um, what if we did one as a treat? I don't hate <laughs> one. I, I, I honestly don't. That's what I'm thinking is that I would just rather play those than the prismatic endings, like, period. But I might just be, like, a non-ending believer here. I kind of like the, I kind of like the idea of them here. Yeah, fine with like two. I don't think yeah. we want that many, but like a couple copies seems fine. 
All right. Hmm. I mean, I'm yeah. This. Man, yeah. I, th- this makes me wish we had Cauldra to a degree. Nah. Just because, well, just because we don't have, you know, we have like a thousand hammers here and no way to equip them. But I guess, like, I guess Tron's like a deck that can deal with Cauldra too. So. Yeah. Well, I think we're just going like turn one saga again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. All right. I'd also take an ending here. That'd be gas. All right. Um, to just like ending a chrome sphere? Yeah, absolutely. Cuts them off green. Hold the five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair. Yeah. So we just go saga. I don't think we're playing out the thopter here. Yeah, no reason to. Because if we play out the Thopter and they have, like, Dismember, then it just effectively blows up our Urza Saga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. right. Pick your poison. Interesting. Right. Damn. I have not encountered one of those kill in my Saga yet. Shit. Oh, yeah, it happens. That feels sure. bad. Um, Damn, the one man of Stone Rain, dude. That feels so bad. Holy cow. Not too bad. So we go Thopter. Just like Stoneforge. Mountain, Stoneforge. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's a reason to fetch. You can get like some thinning value, but whatever. Who cares? I mean, I'm just getting a hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Because that is the legal option on our deck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, that's a great reasoning. Yeah. Yeah, getting it because it is the legal choice. Yep. So, yeah, so just Natty Tron plus pick your poison. All right, yeah. <laughs> Do you have a payoff as well? Gee golly, I hope not. Sheesh. Sheesh. Yeah, I mean, like, it is what it is. It just is what it is, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) This is one of those just like, oh, well, uh, like, what could we have done, you know? Yeah, we're not not playing the the Saga on one. Um, Pick your poison. Grab the just needle. gonna needle stone okay. forge. Potentially, yeah, because they're scared of cauldron, maybe. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Because they don't okay. have to needle the hammer they... so long as Karn is yep. chilling. Boom. We're so good at this game. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna kill the Karn. You're gonna use it to kill Karn. Yeah, we ha- we have to kill the Karn. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Like, obviously, there's some want to sandbag and then try to go for a kill with Ink Moth next turn. But, yeah, giving them another activation of Karn is really scary, especially with all that mana up. Yeah, they, they, they would just yeah. kill us. I agree. They have two cards in hand. Yeah, they can also just, like, get the one ring, too. Yeah. It's like yeah. it. There's just so many things that go wrong if we let them activate Karn again. And then maybe we'll just draw another hammer off the top. <laughs> That'd be lovely. Exactly. Like we, like we have uh, four stone forges, three hammers. So four stone forge, three hammers, and two steel shapers gifts still. Yeah. That are all just lethal, and also we are presenting lethal in just two turns, and they only have two cards in hand. And, you know. Yeah, and like we can make stuff. the stone forge unblockable here. Ooh, <laughs> and it matters. Oh, oh wow! Uh, I mean, I'm just going to... So we can't kill them with Stoneforge here. I'm trying to think yeah. if we can... So if we... I mean, in no world am I not just cracking 12, right? No, I think you're just coding and slamming, yeah. Yeah. 
can't get the extra blue source since code there is reasonable cause to do that yeah so I'm we unfortunately don't turn. have enough to play it and activate yeah. it this turn to like save it from something we gotta tap the ornithopter in case they play another karn because this oh, yeah. is still mana yeah so yeah we put cigar to on the stack first so that it makes the dude and then moves I think this matters. I know it matters with Living Weapon. I'm pretty sure it matters with this, too. <laughs> it would make sense that it matters here. Yeah, for sure. Okay. What do we get? All right. Nothing I want. Oh, it is cool that this is colorless. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure right. It does matter. for this. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, th I think so as well. So it's knock like, them to eight. If they attack, we still have lethal in the crack back. So that they actually have to find something. One card in hand. The construct doesn't stop anything. Yep. Forest, one card. What do you got? Oh, you gonna find son out. Son of a gun. Card. Find the great creator is pretty good. I can grab the with ring. Eight mana. Ugh. Oh wow. Uh, do we? We might. I don't think we're blocking here. I mean, they can just carn. If they carn bridge, we kill them. Exactly. It's like I think we just want the extra body, because yeah, the extra they, body they could be relative to killing carn. Here, maybe. I think they have to go ring. Hopefully they don't I think realize so. that. Ah, there's Karn. Yep. One, two, three. Yep. What you got? This is big. They're thinking about it. They got bridge. The bridge. They got bridge. Okay, they're dead. They're just dead. I think so, right? Yeah, we yeah. play yeah. land, crack it. Play Stone Forge, attack with Ornithopter. Yep, kill you. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, does no. Not... No, because they're at 14 because of the attack. 14. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Okay. So. Because they got to exactly. I mean, this is fine, cards. though. We're just going to use it to kill Karn. <laughs> <laughs> and then what do we do from there? Draw a person. Well, then we, <laughs> we can play Paladin. Hey, what's up, Adepto? And Pike! Hello, both of you. <laughs> Thank you both so much for the subs. Yep. Alright. Yeah, kill the Karn. No choice in the matter. Can't attack with anything else. Man, having to kill the Karn here sucks so much. Oh, yeah. And then we're just going to be in, like, this standstill. But the thing is, like, they do have a saga here. What would they get with it? I guess just, like, probably just a redraw, right? Potentially. I don't know. It's Maybe it's a tough. map into another saga or something. I don't know. Um, I'm tempted to just, like, bounce the coat to my hand here. I think we just pass. Um, yeah. Hmm. Can bounce coat. So what are they getting with Saga? I think that's, I will just bounce the, the coat question. here. Because they could grab a Haywire Might or a... Uh... Okay, so they're making a Construct... Yeah, I'm just going to bounce the coat. Um, I guess these are named, so... <laughs> oh, so I should have tapped the, the cloak because I can throw a stone forge under the bus. I mean, for, forging you off the top also kills them. Yeah. Because we... Is it left us? Go Paladin. We have to play the Paladin new. first. Yeah, yeah. Because we have to be able to use the Paladin ability to get the hammer off of the Ornithopter. 
<clears throat> and then use the forge a new ability to put it back on. <laughs> That's yep. kind of funny. Oh. Okay. The, uh. Well, no. Now we just now we just pallet and take it off. No. Uh, well, yeah, we can't. What? What can we do? Move that there, whatever. Um. Yeah. Put him to put him to four. <laughs> like what? I don't know. Are we supposed to like wait to try yeah. to draw the one other hammer? We have a lot of things that do draw it. I think this is correct. Just jam. Uh, another hammer. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any outs to bridge? We have a prismatic end. We have two prismatic endings in the deck. We have prismatic ending. And we, we can also just draw play. a forge anew, and then we, if yeah. so, y'all, if we draw forge anew, what it lets us do is it lets us equip at instant speed, and with the paladin in play, we can equip any number of things at instant speed. Um, and so that's why the forge anew actually just beats this. Um, and I'll hold the other. I see the hot new stone. I saw the gross new stone forge mystic. I did see the hot new stone forge mystic target though. It was fine. Uh, in the boots. Yeah. Yeah. All right, redraw. I was probably supposed to move one of these to the Paladin to protect it from a dismember. Wow. Yeah, we oh. actually can just do it with Coat alone. It will take four turns, though. Mm -hmm. That is interesting because Coat can't yeah. remove itself. Yep, yep. I mean, that's the game okay. plan as we sit, I guess. It is absolutely the game plan. It's nice that Coat draws us cards, too. That's a funny card. Yeah, uh, does, but we do want to cards. just attack oh, but we, like It draws us cards, but, like, so we... There's some cards we don't want it to draw as the thing. <laughs> kind of. I mean, it's fine. Well, no, Coat draws the cards off Paladin, is what I'm saying. Oh, 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 I thought you meant with the flip. No, it, it also does that, for sure. Yeah. What a weird game. Okay, uh, this one here is what matters. The others don't matter. <laughs> well, it's not two turns, right? Because it's only plus one attack. Ooh. Oh, sure. Okay. I hope it's a Besage you, so we just, like, surge it. Yeah, Depending on what, what she grabs. A surge is very relevant in this matchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that. Oh, but it is a surge. Ooh. It's something you just, like, return the coat again. Oh, and save the surge. No, I'll do this because if we rip a hammer off the top, they die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. Because we'd have that one extra man. But we only have one hammer yep. still on the deck. <laughs> Wishing this was a blacksmith right. skill. Well, not exactly, because we're using it to save our coat, and then it wouldn't be pumping our ornithopter. Okay, drew the drum. I didn't want that anyway, so this is perfect. Drew the aid, which is good, because that card sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting use uh, of the word good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> I a meme, but like it's an interesting meme. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I, I'd be happy with any of the sideboard cards we boarded in here, too. Yeah. Be happy with, like, most of the things that we're not drawing. <laughs> so, we're going to your... animate the ink moth here. Because they're making a sack of creature with flying. So, I'm going to animate the ink moth and sacrifice it. <laughs> sick, sick, sick. Absolutely not. <laughs> this is such a bizarre game. It's so weird. It's, I love it, though. It's such, like, fine little lines. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't, well, they didn't think great. about that one. Ah. Uh, Okay. Well, here we go. That's a that's a lucky one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to we put it other than like... lucky because that was pretty lucky, yeah. being that there was only one, and we drew. I mean, we had we had more than one way to draw it, but the fact we just yeah. drew it straight up is funny. <laughs> it was definitely the best option. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Yeah, we had two. <clears throat> yeah, we had four. We had five outs to draw exactly. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would love to draw a card. This, this is a silly, silly game. I love it. <laughs> Scrapping it out. <laughs> wow. All right, that, that was, was sick. sick. That was super <laughs> sick. Because, like, they weren't even drawing dead. We just, like, kept having the thing, like, just enough to, to keep that Ornithopter alive or keep the Cryptic Code alive even. Man, in that coming up, the fact that Cryptic Code being able to unattach itself. Yep. That's a very yeah, niche card, thing. Card's really good, man. It, it is good, so much but that was oh, a uh, very weird niche situation where that particular thing came up. <laughs> I did. Uh, I did ask a judge today. I was like, I was like, hey, does how does this work? Um, she said I thought it worked a certain way. So if you have if you have coat right and you you cloak an ornithopter, okay? okay, and then you equip a hammer to it, and then you flip it over after that, it like, gets flying. It will be flying. It will because it, like just permanently, it, like it will just have the hammer and be a flyer. Uh, because apparently, basically, when something flips face up, it checks, like, it, it resets its state or something. Wow, that's yeah. so strange. I know, I was like, this is awesome. Yeah, right, that's on the draw. cool. Uh, will you upload this at... That's the plan, yeah. Why? Unless, unless the other four games are terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as we have, like, reasonably functional leagues, it, it generally goes up on his YouTube. Oh, YouTube yeah. later. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why that just, like, broke my brain with the way you wrote it the first time. Man, that's such a bizarre interaction, but so cool that it works in our favor. Oh, God, I was reading chat. I looked back over. <laughs> what happened to our hand? Yeah, uh, well, our uh, our seven was a, I think uh, it was just, like, it was one land yeah. and, like, not a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. And our second hand was, I think, just... I think it was just a colorless source. So, uh, yeah. Evan, will um, I show a foil? Oh, I didn't realize you did a foil redemption. Uh, something with blue, red, or jet sky colors, or what you'd most be excited to show. Okay. Yes, I will, Pedro. I'm just going to play. Think on it. So if we play Sentinel, they just probably cleanly answer it with a Bowmaster or a Push. Mm -hmm. I think we just play Aid here. Because next turn we can go Flooded Strand, Crack for Basic Planes, play Esper Sentinel, and probably just pass. Right. Stalactite Stalker. What you got? Oh, just nothing. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. It's very tempting to play both Sentinels out here. <laughs> I don't think it's correct. Uh, Bajan, I, I have limited supply of what I can actually show you because most of my magic cards are packed, but here's a quick one. I'm going to give him a quick foil. Give him a little flashy. Give him a little flashy. Ooh. That's a good one. 
Oh, that is a good one. That's a mana drain. Yeah. That's a good card. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'll take three. <laughs> Resolves. <laughs> <laughs> Stifle. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> God, I want, I want Stifle so bad in MH3. <laughs> you, what? <laughs> yeah, dude. He's so good. Like, you gonna play it in Hammer? Yeah. <laughs> counter your EE. Counter your Karn yeah. activation. Yeah, counter, counter your HCA Chapter 1. Alright, look. <laughs> counter I, counter I feel your like... Besage. Okay, counter your besage. You got me. <laughs> you got me now. <laughs> uh, I did not think. I, I got to 500 KC, and then I was like, all right, I need to focus on like other things that will actually progress the account and then come back to this when I have like a Tebow or something. Uh, Well, bonk? No. No, they've held up Bowmasters like, since turn two. Yeah. Um, I agree with that. I, I was if I had a third land rolled up there, I absolutely would have grabbed either coat. So it's a death shadow deck. Got it. Mm -hmm. um, I would have grabbed like coat or um, God, this is a weird one to see. Yeah. Like, or I, five color or four color. Like, I wonder, is it is it a traverse build? I think it's just cards. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, are they about to cast lingering souls on us? Like, I don't know uh, what I don't know what's happening. I, I haven't seen this in a very long time right i am curious if we're supposed to just play sentinel out here yeah just sentinel so if we play search. sentinel yeah because they can't what if we yeah. attack for one mm -hmm. and if they block we put the hammer in if they don't block we're just like chilling yeah, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I like that. Is then they're they're dead to one, right? <laughs> it was so long ago, Pike. That's when I played Esper Shadow. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, they don't have a counter spell for this, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope. Okay, so they're going to probably pop the stalactite? No, okay. Bowmaster? Sure. sure. Wait, let me read that other guy again. What does he do? You said pop him. Does I thought he had to... A3 oh, and sack it. okay. Or creature okay. gets minus X, minus X, yeah. Okay, I thought it involved him being untapped to do that. Jeez. All right, that's oh, we got a land. Not great for us though. No, I think we're we're, we're just, just toast now. now. Yeah, we're just dead on board. Uh, yeah, five, nine. All right, yeah, cool. That's them's the beats, right? I yeah. think they kept seven. Yeah, that was a lot of. Yeah, they kept seven. We uh we mulled a. All right, five, well, prismatic ending seems really really good. Five. Was that a mold <laughs> of four or five? We mulled a five. Yeah, five. Okay. Five. Um, so this is tough. Because I feel like they should not bring in EE -E against us, but I think they will. <laughs> Interesting. Well, okay, so why do you think they shouldn't? Because all of their threats are one mana. Oh, okay. Interesting. Slactite Stalker, Death Shadow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably, potentially a DRC. Um, yeah. That being said, uh, I think Memnite's pretty bad because they play Orcish Bowmaster. Uh, I think these other cards are better. Um, probably, I probably just I could just like trim all the thopters. You bring in a spell pierce as a treat, <laughs> just a little treat. I don't, I don't mind spell pierce. Card's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, they're. I think they're going to have a ton of spell based interaction. The only thing it's like kind of iffy is you know. Bowmasters, it, it's not going to help us in that department, but yeah, they should be easiest keep in my life. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a <laughs> lovely hand. 
Pick your poison enchantment. I don't care. I'll just play the Saga Stoneforge. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a Thoughtseize? Nothing. Stone love nothing. nothing. Yeah, I love nothing. Yeah, right, so we're going to play the Stoneforge. Right, I'll kill the Stoneforge. Yeah. Um, the question is, what are we getting here? And I think the answer is Cryptic Coat. I like that. Well, what would you be between if not Cryptico? Would you, would it be between Cryptico and the and the Nettle Sist or Hammer? I mean, Hammer's really good when you have Cigar to Zayden right. play too. Well, that's but we what I'm wondering. Like, we're, we're tight on three threads. more Hammers rolled up. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, Cryptico also seems like very hard for them to actually kill. Hmm. Um, like I'm depending on what happens, I may end up putting the Cryptico into play. Instead of making a construct, legions. End. Wow, that is such a fucking How rude. blowout. It's such a beating. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Oh, dude, that stings. Sure, I have never not been blown out by that card. To be fair, <laughs> they only ever cast it when you have two or more. Yeah, of that, of that effect. yeah never. <laughs> uh, wow, what a beating. <laughs> yeah. All right. They so they brought bad. it in mostly for constructs, I think, but it feels so bad. Damn. Um oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably will make a construct this turn. But man, I don't know, it's pretty close. Yeah. Is we can flash in the coat end of turn. And then untap, get a hammer. I just kind of put it on there, attack I, for 13. Yeah, I'm a little worried about it being like, if we don't coat, then it's vulnerable to Thoughtseize, just like hand disruption in general. If we do yeah. coat, well, it, it really depends what they do and what they hold up. Because I also don't want to hang out coat if it is. Oh, uh, well, Second we got to choose now. Um, I mean, we don't. <laughs> True. But is that oh, that's so shitty too? Though is the thing. So here's what I'm thinking, right? So we can okay. pierce this, mm -hmm. and then on our own upkeep, we can flash in the coat. Go get a hammer, but then we can't protect. I think I'm just. It is flash warded. In the coat and the yeah, I think I'm just gonna flash in the coat and sack the aid here. And then we just like we'll make construct, make construct kind of thing. Yeah. All right. I was tempted Halted. to you like won't. sack it, but maybe still just like make the construct. But uh. Alfie Void Walker, sure. Okay. Okay. And so uh, we go get a drum here, almost certainly. Yeah. You could needle Dothy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. You could. It's a legal move. Um, and yeah, I'll just you... attack for three. Yeah, it's the the awkward thing about us not setting up for like hammer lines is that we're not gonna kill them in one swing, which is always like the scary thing against a death shadow deck. Like killing them in chunks could get a little sketchy, but yeah. Coat I think, also, I think Coat also letting us push through giant nope. shadows to get that last bit is interesting uh no not that one <laughs> not this will be this this yeah cool also like lets us just grind through by like bouncing replaying the coats mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah shadow sure Okay, it's up to two. All right, I do kind of like Sentinel here. I wonder if we're supposed to shock here. I know, because we like kind of want the double blue. I mean, we we sort of have double blue anyways with the drum already. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I think just planes is fine. I'm trying here. to think about like so they showed us red. I don't want to get like punked out by like team or battle rage or something, you know. Yeah. Like, I don't, so, I don't, know I just don't want can... to lose to something stupid. So if we attack for seven here, they can go to five. And then if they fetch shock, they go to two, right? Um they we can have then two jump blockers. Well, they go to so this would become an eleven, right? It's twenty-two. One, two, three, four. So it'd be five, six, eight, but we're dead to the Dothy. I I don't think we can play around the TBR. Okay. Well, so let, let's think about it, right. So we attack for three. So like I, take I, three, go to nine. Yeah. I th I think we just attack for three, probably. Well, and then ju and then just try to like kill them next turn, outright. Yeah. Mm. Good job wishing that card into existence. <laughs> I mean, they've got to be on it, right? <laughs> like, I feel like their deck is screaming TV. Who knows? But yeah, honestly, who knows? I don't. I, yeah, I certainly don't know. Yeah. And right now they only have what, like a saga under Dothy? Oh, and a surge. Mm -hmm. And a surge, yeah. yeah. But yeah. oh no, it doesn't really matter. I guess <laughs> uh, and a, oh, yeah. a saga surge and a fetch land. Sure, okay. sure, it's fine. It can play lands, right? I believe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've had people do it when they're just like, I don't have a second land or a third land or yeah, whatever. They're like, what I'm just going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were able to. And confirm. I know some people have been asking if we should be playing Prick Your Poison and Sideboard, and it's like, maybe. I don't think we necessarily need it for stuff like um, like the Scion Leyline decks, which is why most people are playing it. But it's like, it's a good card, so like, yeah, I could certainly it, see a case for it. It is, a, it is another one of those cards that I was like, I mean, this card seems fine, and then it... It's, I think it's better than fine now. <laughs> I keep seeing it... It's real good. Yeah, it's, it's better than I, than I initially thought. Yeah. It's, the thing that really tripped like, me up was the it fact is, it was yeah. a sorcery. And I was like, I don't know, man. It being a sorcery is pretty rough. But, like, it's one of those sorceries that, like, I think does enough to justify it being a sorcery. <laughs> and, like, it's still just yeah. very good. Yeah. It's, um, it's one of those things where people were first talking about, they're like, oh, it's insane against Hammer. I'm like, it's fine against Hammer. Yeah. But I think in the format as a whole, it is very good. Yeah. Um, and I could certainly see us playing like two or three copies somewhere and they just like put a temple garden somewhere mm -hmm. in the 75. Kind of similar Probably to like when Haywire might was bounce around and it was like, all right, well, maybe yeah. we can play this. Yeah, you could also you could also play like some number of Haywire mites. That, mm -hmm. that card's fine. Then all of a sudden you're uh, like, pretty yeah. good at killing Wonderings. Yep. If you have access to both okay. of those. I love this. E for zero. Okay. Hmm. So will they pay? Okay. So we're going to pierce this. We're going to make a dude and pierce, I yeah, think. Yeah, because then they can't activate it. I guess they, we can just pierce first. Right? They did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pretty sure. Yeah, they played the, the Verdant. The Verdant yeah. um, so I think we're just going to pierce first. Obviously, they can pay for it, but then they can't pop it. Right. We're choking their mana. Yep. Because they need to be able to pop it now. Right. <laughs> so, like I said, I don't think they should bring in EE, -E, but... <laughs> but, uh, but they probably will. <laughs> but yeah, look, I mean, okay. I they like, got to bring it in, needle? and it's on zero. So it's like. And, like, that is an effective zero. Yeah. Yes. So there, it's at least not like you know, messing with with their side of the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spell pierce. Good job. 
Oh, they're EE, -E, sure. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll make an idiot. Yeah, so them not paying. Idiot. Yeah. What are we putting them So they have more here? interaction. Yeah, I know, and I'm wondering what. And then they're thinking about potentially using it here. Yep. Which, whatever. Yeah, I'm curious as to what it is. Forget about the You're war at one time. <laughs> yeah, please dismember the, the coat. <laughs> okay. Sure. So, I mean, I'm going to make dude. another construct Yeah. <laughs> And so, like, there is appear, a reasonable... They haven't shown us blue yet, right? It's everything but blue we've seen? Correct. Or did yeah. they show us water? So, it is also sure. reasonable to not make a construct here, right? Yeah. Don't make a construct. And then we can bounce and replay that, but I'm just going to make a dude. Yeah. <laughs> I feel and, like and I'm thinking the, too hard about this. The reason I was asking about blue, dress down, obviously, like, on the radar pairs really nicely with that yeah. shadow and would wipe our construct but like i think we do just go into it yeah the alternative being playing into picking up code but but we can do that anyways so. Mm -hmm. yeah so they could have like k command here i guess and they'd go to whatever uh, six to do that mm -hmm. still only i guess that yeah okay they would kill one plus kill the sentinel and we draw shatter code. shock they probably like, shatter the code. Shatter the code. Yeah. And then we have two constructs. Yeah. Still. That's like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, they, they try to shatter the code, right? We and bounce again, it absolutely every hard. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then if they're thinking about that, it probably is shatter construct plus. This. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what they got. <laughs> yeah, Let's see. exactly. I, I have passed priority. Yeah. <laughs> Dismember. Okay. Dismember targeting a construct. Sure. If one surprised. card in hand. Okay. They uh, paid the full are they life dead? there. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they paid the full life. I'm wondering if they have another piece. Like maybe there's a fatal push as well. Is their hand really so we go push? get a shadow spear, right? Go get her a shadow spear, put it on the cloaked creature. Attack with everything. They block here. Take four, five. Yeah. I mean, the fact they paid that to life, you think is just just to make the shadow bigger? Maybe, yeah, maybe to make it. Because it'd be a six, no six idea. otherwise. So then it wouldn't pair into the constructs well. So maybe, yeah, it, it might have been that. Yeah, because if they fetch, they die to this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. If they Ooh. fetch for Fatal Push, they can't push the Cloak. Okay, yeah, then we should be fine. I, Boom. Yeah. Cloak, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> right, I didn't think about the fact that they fetch, it would then put the Cloak lethal. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, I think they have a lot of, a lot of spell pierceable stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they do. All right. So much interaction now. Yeah, exactly. It was like, I I think it had to have been a bluff, or they didn't realize they couldn't kill the the cloaked yeah. creature. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Good enough. This is this is, this is seven cards. Good mana. Yeah. Wish we had a saga, but that's about it. Yep. I like always wish I had a saga though. You know, like even if I have a saga, I <laughs> wish I had a saga. <laughs> yeah, I just want more sagas, please. More sagas. Sure, what you want? <laughs> Probably the Paladin. I can see an argument for a lot of these cards, depending on the texture of their hand. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that, that was, I didn't want to say it after you said Paladin, but Sentinel was what I was thinking. Uh, I think I'm just going to play Coast Drum here. Okay. The alternative being holding up Spell Pierce. But yeah. if you play Coast Drum the next turn, you can go Pure Steel Paladin with Pierce up if you wanted. Bingo. 
Or like if we draw Stoneforge, right? Uh, just a lot of different lines become available to us. Oh, man, is my mic really low again? Son of a gun. I... Right. It always happens. <laughs> But it doesn't make sense. On my end, I see it as being good. So I don't know. And I'm speaking right into this thing. I don't know. number two. Sure. I'll adjust Maybe the audio take... a little bit. We take an ending here. And then, like, deploy Death Shadow after a fetch shock. That would be reasonable. I'll try to make sure when I when I move and I reset up my stream stuff that this will be fixed then. Elks is hot has been called. <laughs> Man's got a hot mic. All right. Take the spell pierce. Oh, they have one mana. Kind of love that. Huh. Just like play paladin, hammer, draw a card. Uh, but if they like if they just like untap yeah sure fuck it go it <laughs> i mean wait, I, I, what I else are we gonna it. do yeah i guess i just want to like push the card advantage yeah 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 for sure hmm. yeah of course mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about right, right. time yeah yep. Ch checks out <laughs> are they also a scam deck I guess <laughs> it's kind of sick if you're just... playing like a traverse deck and you can go uh, traverse for a thoughtsy yes. free thoughtsies Dude, I, uh, I don't know man <laughs> <clears throat> oh sure okay just nothing hmm. perfect that's <laughs> This I think we're drawing all of our cards in the exact sequence that our opponent would like us to draw them. <laughs> uh, pick your poison. Name enchantment. <laughs> it's like <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. Great. All right. Well, deal. I don't hate that. We just need an artifact yeah. off the top, and then we're cooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any artifact. I would take a uh, cryptic coat. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because that gives yeah, us die. the body. <laughs> right, right, right. I was thinking it, that also just, like, gives us the body to keep the surge up as well. All right, well. Uh, it could be worse. Could be worse. It's going to kill that thing. Yeah. Not attack them. If we well, don't attack, attack them, them, then TBR does not kill us. It puts us to one instead of killing us. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's a, like, what the reason to not attack is. What I just said, that's the only one I can think of. Right. Um, not being like, is there a TBR. benefit to attacking, I guess, is the other question. That I don't know. Because uh, we'd be putting them to five. We put them to five. Yeah, and that I don't think that's like a relevant number that something would... It makes fetching a lot more awkward, right? It means that they can't attack us if they grow the shadow. Yeah. I'm going to attack. Whatever. <laughs> like, Says man about to die to TBR. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, they would have... I mean, they, the fact they don't even have the red source here, I guess... Well, okay, now it got Don't more relevant. Uh, remember? Okay. E on one, sure. No attack, right? No, can't attack. Yeah. There we go. Now they get a block. Lovely. Yep. So... Mm -hmm land and they would be able to clear it but we would still have a 2 2 attacking them exactly yeah and which, the land would the probably like cost there. them life it would have to yes. be like their one basic if they even have one we know they have a swamp i believe we saw a swamp game okay one. 
But they have to like naturally draw the one swamp or they're dead. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, wow. Let's go. That got a little that got a little <laughs> sketchy there, but yeah, finding that art we just needed oh, to yeah. rip an artifact. Yeah. And then like I mean, the prismatic the ending seven, I think. Yeah. did a thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we lose if we don't draw the ending there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so You yeah, know it's true. Yeah. Once again though. Coat. I'm just like, man, I wish we draw a coat right now. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm really happy with, with how good that card is has felt. It's really nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that was Yeah, that was stressful. That yeah, was. That was. Both of these matches have been they've both been very tight matches. <laughs> yeah. Uh we're on the play. Awesome. I'm keeping. <laughs> interesting yeah i mean we've got we've got hammer we've got equippers like good we've got saga but that's our only body so like we don't want to like turn one saga or anything like that the drum is really yeah. awkward so the, the reason this is the keep is we yeah. have both we have two hammers in the gift and the the saga mm -hmm. we have eight as the equipper and um, like the sand's just very resilient. We're just or we're riding Saga with this want, hand. Yes, Gift can also be like a coat, right? Okay, they mold the four. Yeah, Gift uh, can be a coat, true. So I think I'm gonna run out drum on one. The reason, ordinarily, just in the blind, I'm gonna play eight on one almost every time because that's the most important card to get under like everything. Mm -hmm. But because this hand can just play a very good fair game with the saga mm -hmm. and they mold the four, it tells me they probably have a very, like uh, they're probably either is really bad or they have a very degenerate deck. Um, in which case I want to get the drum down because then any creature off the top is just, it's extra mana. Yeah. And I think getting the speed from the, from that is really relevant. Yeah. Any any creature we get to play the cigar to aid anyways, and if we don't, Correct. then we get to play the cigar to aid plus saga and say go anyway. Like either way, we just get to play the aid afterwards if we lead with the uh, with the drum. Amulet, amulet or Tron maybe could be Tron. Yeah, there we There's go. The creature. There you go. All right, Let's play this. And very relevant play that it, you know it's like Esper Sentinel. We wouldn't well. Nah, I guess that's not relevant because then in that other scenario we would have already had played the saga, but or the the Sir Guard is eight. I mean, but. yeah. Uh, and we are probably almost we're almost certainly giving up a construct here, but that's fine because I don't think this game is going to be. Yeah, it's not about the constructs. <laughs> yeah, this is. <laughs> All right, I will. I'll take a hammer off the top. I mean, Tron not starting on anything but a Tron land like. That's good for us, you know. I do like that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, any incentive to stay on mono white hammer at the moment? What do you think about that? So I think the main reason to play mono white is access to solitude. Mm -hmm. um, and I've I've talked about this in the past. I think solitude's just like not in a great spot right now. Yeah. Um, Yawgmoth can grind through one pretty easily. Um, I think also like Curse Totem is your much better. Okay, we won. Um, <laughs> your much better play against Yawgmoth. Um, Titan kind of can overwhelm single solitudes very effectively as well, assuming that the person you're playing against is good. Um, and otherwise, I think, I think like Coat is so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's the real takeaway. Like Coat is bananas. Yeah. So it's um, more that there is an ins like a, there's a pretty big incentive to stay to actually play blue now, like now we have a very yeah. real reason to to play blue. Um, also, blood be low right now. Your mic cut out there. What'd you say? Uh, blood moon's like very very low right oh, now. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Not seeing a lot of those floating around. I mean, solitude is relevant against amulet if you're also killing them, but like. I have found that these cards are better against Amulet than Solitude because a lot of times they're just like, I'll pull you one ring and then you lose. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, you can Solitude one of their threats, but then they're just like, but here, here's the 12 cards I drew off of the right. one ring. And you're right. like, man, this is, this is poop. And it yeah. is poop. It feels bad. Uh, Get one ringed, you know? 
What else did we cut last? Cut the gift. Eh, we just no, we, one of these. Yeah, the I think you ended up. You grabbed. Th did you cut one of the, the zeros? You. I thought you played yeah. a second one. I think I thought you cut one of them for a. I think I second. Is I like end a second one in. Let's keep that. I think the zero's value goes up when you have the counter magic. Okay, yeah, because they play well with drama. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I'm going to kill you on turn two. Holy. I mean. All right. I'm, I'm jamming <laughs> on this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. will have one. I, I guess I'll have two cards in my hand. By the and way. we even get to, like, split them. You know, to to play around yep. the removal, we even get to split them. Mm -hmm. Wow, this this is a filthy hand. This, this is like is really good. if you could just put seven cards into your hand to fight Tron here. This is like probably yeah. the seven cards you would put into your hand. <laughs> yeah, probably pretty close. Might, like might it... like <laughs> they have a second aid over the second ornithopter. That's about it. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of a funny one to draw. It is funny. Your move, Yugi boy. <laughs> I hope I want to send him to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hammer sucks. Everyone Bad look deck. away. Bad deck. Oh, they're dead. They're so dead. <laughs> so, so this is one thing I want to note. There was no really reason for them see. to play the forest. They're supposed to pop the yeah. They just missed here. an opportunity yeah. to play a Tron land this turn. Yeah, they, yep. Now yeah, they very, will, that's and, a and now young Skywalker, you will die. <laughs> that was definitely a very weird. I can't think of a of a reasoning behind like that being the move. Yeah. Do you know the Shadow Realm was the English for kids yes, I translation, do know and then it was just death. Yes, it huh. was. It was. We're sending you to hell. <laughs> but really? The U.S. was like, "Yo, that no. might be and a that's little how, like, too the metal." Realm, they treat it. <laughs> it. They treat it like it's horrifying because, like, mm -hmm. for them, it was. Yeah. So even if they, yeah, it's like. Uh, yeah. I don't know, like, what are they going to... Uh, force is the one thing. Yeah, but, like, I can't imagine they would have... wouldn't. Oh, please do it. Dismember. I'm ready. This is when I just, like... Oh, yeah, true, true. I guess, yeah, this doesn't technically this, kill them. No, can't, they can't besiege you. It's a it is dismember. Yeah. Well, now... Right. Yeah, it does not actually kill them, huh? No, it... No, it doesn't. No, they go to one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm fine with yeah, that. This one is hard. <laughs> yeah. It is a little oh, rough I'm... having them on the same thing now, though, because if they are able to kill it, being at one, <laughs> we just don't kill them with the other ornithopter. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of I, funny. It's like, go to one. This is, but this is what I'm saying. Like, it is possible they could have won this game. And they, they might. Like, it is an impossible. If they were trying. It's possible they here. win this game if they, if they, yeah, cracked the the sphere to play the stirrings to find the Tron land. And yeah. then they got to play the Tron land, right? Yeah. I don't know what, yeah, I guess it would just, they, they could get a turn with one ring. Like, I'm trying to think, like, what they do to not. They could, I mean, they from, could go Karn Bridge. Right, I, yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Which we like do eventually beat, I guess, at the saga, but Yes. But it buys But them then they get another turn with Karn, right? yeah. Is... Well that was much easier than the first drawn match. Yeah. <laughs> Dramatic. Like opponent plays real tight, it's a lot harder to win. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was uh that was a lot easier. Shadow hell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was just hell, but I like shadow hell more. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, you want to take a minute? Yeah, sure. Sure. 
we'll uh we'll be right back and uh we'll continue this 3-0 league we are back uh we're back i have a chalupa um <laughs> we're still three and zero and uh yeah. and uh adepto is banned that is uh that's everything that's <laughs> happened <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Do I want to know? Um, no. <laughs> They're not really. <laughs> they thought they could get away with saying Fricktron. Uh, oh. Those exact nice words, to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not censoring anything, but we won't stand for that kind of <laughs> potty language. Um, no, I mean, it's not amulet. Exactly. At least Tron, you can generally guess. All right, they'll have this much mana on this turn. <laughs> Amulet, it's like, well, they're about to have infinity mana. <laughs> How do I proceed? Functionally. <laughs> yeah. The limit does not exist. Exactly. It is funny. Like, I'll see people tracking. It's like, why are you still tracking your green mana? You have like 30. <laughs> they legitimately have like 14 plus green mana. It's like, <laughs> Don't worry about that. Just, just worry just about like, stop. the red in your white. <laughs> That's the only choke point, my dude. <laughs> Hammer can't be beat. It only beats. Correct. That is that is the goal. Yeah, correct. Let's go. We are on the play. Love that part. And we're we're playing as Madrick. <laughs> All right, well, we don't have lands, so I'm going to move. Great name. Uh, huh. I'm, I think I'm going to keep. Really? Yeah, keep bottom a... Like, I mean, like, against mo like any fair deck, I'm, like, pretty happy with this hand. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep and bottom of planes. Wow. Man. Interesting. Yeah, I would have snapped one to five. Is, but, I mean, it is two sagas. Yeah. Yeah, two sagas is obviously the biggest piece. And I'm actually not going to play out the Ornithopter here. Um, I'm just going to play a tapped Hollowed Fountain. <laughs> mm hmm. Because um, if, uh, if they don't recognize my name. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it does yeah. not signal what we're playing unless they know who you are, in which case. They already know. <laughs> yeah. But because we have neither the hammer nor the cigar to aid, there's no world, basically, in which we can attack with the Ornithopter. Right, right, right. Um, the reason to play out Ornithopter is if we think they're going to Thoughtseize and then, like, Bowmaster is potentially good. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, Archon's oh, saying boy. this line would be very good on oh, my boy. account. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yep. All right, I'm just play out all my shit here. <laughs> I definitely should have played out the Sentinel first, but whatever. If they want to bolt an Ornithopter, I'm like pretty happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, Moxie. So what is this? Is this like a? Is this like a bre breach. breach breach combo? Yeah. Yeah, some 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 variant of breach would be my guess. Um, all right. Um, if they attack with Monkey, are we blocking? <clears throat> Yes. Yep. Every time. Oh, we're not blocking. Now, I was going to say, <laughs> now we're not, but we definitely were mainly, I mean, a big reason is that Mox Amber. Like, yes. I would that takes mm -hmm. them off the monkey and the mana and the mana they would get from the monkey. That's like a ton of reasons to block. Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. <laughs> All right. Do they have a land? I would be surprised. And that descent and you play by zipper, like a lot of reasons, right? Because now they have another legend that is going to give them the mana. Also, I'm thinking less that this is breach. <laughs> yeah, I think this is like gruel legends, maybe. <laughs> I think it's it's like probably yeah, it's Asmo. Okay, sure, sure. Interesting. 
So I don't think they have another land because they use the treasure. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I like that. Wow. Do we play out Saga here? Saga, Saga, Saga. <laughs> That's a... Uh... I don't think so. I think we're we gonna kind of. You're not worried about. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. Yes. So one reason to potentially play Saga is if yeah. they go pick your poison. Oh, to be able to protect the other. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's interesting. Um, I'm worried that we're just gonna like yeah, fall whatever. behind this uh, this Asmo, but uh, playing the other Saga, I don't think changes that. They have black mana and red mana currently. And we know they have a, a, the Oval Chase Daredevil. Mm -hmm. Okay, just with the Ragavan. You know, okay. Oval Chase this Daredevil's classic combo. Everyone knows about it of Ragavan attacking, triggering into discarding the Daredevil treasure token picking it back up that's its most common combo i mean this is something that spike was running around playing and some uh, other okay. people picked it up so like this is not something i'm super surprised by gotcha yeah didn't really care about the hammer so this is fine yeah all right do I get to draw a card? I cannot imagine I'll get to draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I mean, they might be burying us right. enough that they just don't care. It's true. Like, if they can get this really going, then we're not going to be able to get on the board. Yeah, they paid. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, we will. Right, because they have to sack two food. Yeah, yeah. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Lightning bolt, pretty obnoxious, but whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, probably would have mulliganed this hand if I had known this was the you know archetype yeah, we were facing, yeah. but what, whatever. They're probably also concerned that we might have main deck needle. Okay. Robot. <clears throat> Big money. Hmm. I we mean, get to just float <laughs> Anna here for sure. So it's that one. And what are we getting? Float. Um, I'm thinking we might just get a drum here. Yeah. So let, we have to. We actually need to map out our turns, right? So if we yeah. go grab drum, mm -hmm. if we grab drum, play another saga, play Mem Knight. Like, we're just trying to get Construct in the big zone, right? Yes. Yeah, so we can grab Drum, play Saga, make a Construct, play Memnite, and then we still have... So we'll have one, two, three, plus the Drum. So I think we can make... Can we make two Constructs is the other question. Um, I don't know the answer to be totally honest. <laughs> <laughs> like making, if we get a shadow spear, I think with this one, we need to get drum. Yeah. Wait, how would we be making two constructs? Cause we can grab another drum. Yeah, but we only have one saga that can, when do you mean making the second one? Like next? Oh, you mean like going into the next turn with next this one? Turn, coming? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Got you. Um, and I don't think there is actually any reason for us to make the construct now. Yeah, we burn the mana, but like, who cares? Doesn't do anything. Right. <clears throat> um. 
Um, and I can't imagine that I'm supposed to attack. No, we got we got a block. And this is where they're going to be able to asmo. So they can kill one construct at least, but we'll still have a 4-4 four, four. breakout. Oh, that's the like tiny collected company. Yeah. It's the yeah, I think this card's pretty bad. Yeah. Okay. Lot of inti. Inti's going kind of hard this game. Yeah, Inti's very good. When, like, you're not interacting with them, Inti's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Needle is pretty gross. Um, we can trade with the monkey here. I mean, they probably just pop, pop it off. But is this an instant or sorcery? So if we make a construct, they'll both be five fives. Mm -hmm. I think we have to take this hit and hope we don't die. And then just That's try to outscale yeah. it. Right. Yep. Because <sighs> they, they get to grow it like one a turn, but we're growing our saga or our constructs by like more than that yeah. this turn. Keep in mind they can play this needle. So they will probably eat one construct, but that's fine. Yeah. This is an interesting game. <laughs> of course if they play needle I'll make a construct. <laughs> Surprise. Who would have guessed? now what teething wormlet has death touch oh Whenever yeah, an artifact yeah, enters yeah. the battlefield Spike thing oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I oh, okay. see sure, this. Sure. gotcha i think yeah. so at least yeah i'm pretty sure it's sweet some hard sweet yeah all right construct This will bait them into naming drum. <laughs> <laughs> if we draw um, Sturge, we're not in bad shape either. Yeah, Hex, we don't have the um, we don't have the current one up right now. We need to do that. Yeah. Yeah, in the future, we'll just um. Before we start, I'll make sure to get a link. Like, just have you give it me a give me a text file of it. Sure. I named Colossus Hammer. I am genuinely surprised. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's a little wild. Wow, Prismatic Ending is cracked against this whole deck. <laughs> <laughs> it was <Yeah>. bananas. <laughs> Okay, doing it now. That seems pretty loosey goosey, but all right. Oh, also have the gal flash. Sure. Okay, okay. Yep. Okay, so. So if we. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to. Uh, I think Memnite's the worst card, so I'd rather block with that. So we're going to top the Ornithopter here. So we're going to grab another Springleaf Drum here. Play Ink Moth. Ink Moth is probably correct. And pass turn. Do, uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. If we wanted to like preemptively make a construct, but I guess it would only be bringing them to six, so they'd still be, <sighs> yeah, killable by 
as well. Right. They found his second land. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. It's just been all gas all the time. I'm yeah. like, this is rough. <laughs> right. But discarding lands either. They just like Yeah. Oh they did, okay, they didn't even play that one. I guess they need the green. <laughs> Break out, sure. What? I mean, they could just kill us, so it's pretty reasonable. <laughs> Top six. Really like creature. Oval chase just goes to your hand. Level. Love that. Man, this card's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they just bricked on it, and it's just like, that might lose them the game. Okay, this time I'm, I'm blocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna trade here. Yeah. You should make the block first, or go with construct first. Interesting. Yeah, I think I'm gonna double block here. Oh, okay. Oh, because it has trample. That's trample. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, yeah, I like the. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. Sure. Can't activate Asmo this turn unless they have another cookbook. <laughs> uh, they already played a land. They already played a land, so they can't. So maybe they play have that cookbook. Another mo another, another Mox Amber play cookbook. Activate. I guess. No, okay, we get it. We get a turn here. How about? All right. <laughs> Make a construct, go grab a shadow spear, equip it to the not sick construct and attack. Like, yeah. I think it's pretty straightforward this turn. Yep. Then we have a. Ooh, that's Ooh. We have a 7 7, right? 6 7, 8, 8 8. Yeah. We can, yeah, we Gets can it make out it from under the eyes. Frickin' asthma. huge. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. What to do? I think I'm just going to tap this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Bash. They could trade their whole board into it. Oh, I guess they could just trade the Death Touch into it. <laughs> that guy does have Death Touch on. So, I'm just going to animate this. Get the extra point of life here. Yeah. The alternative being, like, Steel Shaper's Gift, but I like that. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, Gift is almost certainly just getting uh, either Nettle Cyst or um, a Coat. Mm -hmm. Which, I guess, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. We have the land in hand anyways, so... So, thinking back, it's actually possible I was not supposed to animate the Ink Moth, yeah. because... Yeah, yeah not yeah. animate the ink moth for that reason but it's fine it's fine we're just gonna get a coat grab the shadows like put the shadow spear on the coat yeah sure <laughs> yeah ragavan all right sure. you, you got it yeah no no cauldra right now um feeling like doesn't it's matter a, it's just like a very well they're just asking did we cut cauldra for cyst um oh yeah yeah sorry yeah 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 Here's so chat. Got cauldra has seemingly lined up pretty poorly against a lot of what's going on in the format right now previously it felt you know like if you could get it in play it was pretty untouchable but now as more and more answers to it are getting printed right now it just feels pretty dang touchable <laughs> uh it just kind of gets killed <laughs> by like touching. Yeah, it's too much touching. <laughs> There's just like a lot of things that a lot of the main decks are playing that just make it not as resilient of a threat as it has previously felt. And you do have to like, look you know... if the opponent's not ever going to draw lands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're supposed to do, man. All right, there we go. They have. I think. I hate that it doesn't like note. All right, yeah. 
M. Night Down. One of the things that Travis was talking about earlier was that, um, like, one of the popular decks right now in the, like, Draco decks, the Scion decks, they can just race it. Like, unless you're able to suit it up with a hammer, they're having their 4-4 four, four flying lifelink dudes. They'll just straight race you on it. What about moving Calder to the sideboard? Well, what matchups do you want it for? I guess that's what you have to think about is like, what is a matchup right now that is common enough that you want a sideboard, you want to use a sideboard slot on it, and, you know, where where are you wanting Cauldra actively right now? Maybe Scamp, right, which is, that's the big thing is like, that not deck's, a deck. it's, it's just falling off right now. So there, there's just not Scam. Like, there, there's just not a lot of Scam. There's not enough Scam for me to want to have a card for it that we don't really need for any other matchup and we like don't even really need it for that matchup you know that all lines up with with my thoughts on it oh hmm, what else do we want to cut it's a ragavan deck but we can probably cut the memnites on the draw On the play, yeah. Gift, gift. Yeah, this is fine. Just two Pierce as a treat. Surge, of course, insane against yeah. Asmo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Curse totem is kind of interesting. It stops exactly the uh, the Asmo, right? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to keep it, but I'm not going to. That's okay, okay. There we go. And you keep this one. I think. I think he's a coat. Are we about him in coat? I I was just leaning gift, but I think it's coat. Because we already being have able to grab another board. hammer is like. Yeah. Okay. That's that's probably true. Also, the three mana spell in our two land hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. That also has a saga. So even if it finds the land, it kind of wants to do the saga thing anyways. Yeah, but we will simply find <clears throat> hammer off the top. We will simply Oh, do to that. just hit them. I mean, yeah. If they go mountain go, I don't want to do that. But, oh, well, unless it's a tapped mountain. <laughs> Maybe now I'm interested. Oh, let's play Stoneforge. Grab a hammer. Smack them. Attack for one. Send a message. What is the message? Flammo. Oh, that's a good message. <laughs> I know. Two M's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ooh. Yeah. Flam and Mo. No Flammo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you got? Sure. Owl blast. Oh, on sick. Stone sick. And tap it out. Okay. I'm a. I'm going to attack so hard. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I think most of their removal is damage-based, right? I'm just, I'm just hitting them for a billion. Yeah. <laughs> it's just 11 you. And if they answer it, we're drawing a card, so. Exactly. And we're just like, here's this giant stone forge right after. Yeah. Remove you, boy. <laughs> yeah, we'll just grab like a shadow spear almost certainly. Yeah. Uh, actually, I might grab a drum. Uh, is Nettle then... Cyst better than Second Coat? Just curious. Yeah, I mean, not to put words in your mouth, but I, I would assume having access to the versatility of two, like, you know, these are these are tutor targets, right? Like, we, we've got four Stone Forge Mystic, especially now we're playing two Steel Shapers gifts. I think the, the added benefit of having two distinctly different threats to be able to grab is... Would, is far more powerful than adding redundancy to one, even if we think, like, even if we're thinking code is better than cyst, which I think we do. I think first cyst is better than second code, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's also, keep in mind, like, you can put a nettle cyst on a, on a creature that has coat, mm -hmm. but you cannot move the coat without a yeah. paladin in play. Yeah. Um, hmm. Uh, I think I'm just going to grab another hammer.
I'll attack you for lethal damage. Okay, you died. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, man. They had a, a block one. in play. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Shit got weird. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm kind of medium on the spell pierces on the draw, I think. Yeah, I don't hate that. I mean, the card I'm like, which might be completely wrong. The card I'm most afraid of is, is Asmo just getting stuck under Asmo, but that might be like misplaced fear. Which is like why I brought up the curse. Okay. It's narrow. They also, yeah. well, it's Haywire might too, right? They're a saga. They're like a green saga deck. Yeah. Um, the issue is like they still are a saga deck, so they can just like make some idiots mm -hmm. and an inti deck. Mm -hmm. So they can just like trample over. Yeah. Um, so I think I think you're over indexing mm -hmm. for that for that a bit by playing yeah, the yeah, totems. That's, that's totally um, Totally. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm tempted. I kind of want the extra Memnite on the draw against Ragavan. Mm -hmm. Cause that card's kind of spooky. Um, yeah, that is one of the plus sides of actually like playing these Memnites now is is having that. Yep. That nice line against Ragavan. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. They're really good at blocking Ragavan. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just the question of do we want second gift third drum well we did just put or... the spell pierces so the drums get a little meh, but we did bring in all the surges yeah hmm. kind of a knock in both directions yeah whatever doesn't really matter that much <laughs> whenever i'm like thinking that i'm like it probably doesn't matter that much uh, i also probably missed earlier discussion on this but it's sad not seeing cookie monster in this list kind of a similar reason is the to the cauldra just like it just doesn't line up super well right now um and a lot of what Cookie Monster was doing, we're trying to do with the coat now, though obviously you can't get the the uh, the Cookie Monster with the Urza Saga. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think, you know, I, I it's not like get rid of your Cookie Monsters, you know. I think uh, it might just fit in a little bit awkwardly right now. Um, we also kind of have, like, an interesting card that we were talking about earlier coming from... Uh, what is the name of it? Do you know what is the name of the set? Uh, Something uh, Junction. Are you talking about Thunder Ye -ye? Junction? Yeah. Yeah. Thunder Junction. <laughs> the, um, hey, Ye -ye. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. There's a pair of boots coming that are maybe going to fill that kind of niche. Uh, it's like a one drop that gives a thing ward and haste and like 1-0. It's a one drop that it takes one to equip. It's pretty good. It looks pretty interesting. And that might be like this, the Saga haste enabler instead of Cookie Monster. Because that lets you yeah. enable haste on your second construct that you make with it. So you're just like, your Saga is just doing a lot more by itself. Well, that's kind of the that's kind of the thing, Plague, is that like Hammer hasn't been performing super well lately. And I had said this earlier. It was like when a deck isn't doing its best, that is like the best time to just get weird with it and just try unconventional things that are probably going to feel very weird to do in the moment. But that's how you find, you know, that's how you find the new trends. That's how you find the new the new direction to go with things is you have to try the the weird unconventional stuff, even if it feels wrong to do it. Um, yeah, it's it's important to experiment. Basically, just not have any real sacred cows and be like, yeah, you know what? I think culture has been really good in the past, but like, is it actually something I really want right now? Um, especially with like those flex slots. Um, yeah. See, so yeah, I think it's. That's a really good way to put it's, it. It's easy to just go, yeah, the list is great. Everything's awesome. Wait, but what about... I think... What about Holy Cow? Did you see that one? Dude, Holy Cow. I, I mean, I'm going to have to register that card. That might be holy a sacred cow. cow. <laughs> <laughs> it is literally a Holy Cow. It is literally... Cow Angel, yeah. <laughs> this is... But no, yeah, not, not, getting too, not getting too attached to... Uh, you know, to cards is a good way to put it. Alpine Moon. Oh, fuck. Come on. That's brutal. It's such crap that that card is asymmetrical. I'm just. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, like, it is it. such garbage. Super weird. Yeah. 
past. All I'm saying is we could be playing Red Hammer. <laughs> we we could. Alpine Moon is definitely a card that I would consider in that in that deck. Yeah. It's probably pretty good right now. Hipping needle, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know the evasion was good about Ginger Brute, but I thought the Sago Bull Haste was kind of a big reason to have a tutor bull surprise haste creature. Right, right, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Getting those getting those haste boots is, is big. And now, you know, being able to get the evasive creature off Saga is big, but we do have Cryptic Coat now as a form of evasion. And while it is different, because obviously the source of it is, is different, how we're getting in play is different, it, it, it still is another angle in the deck that we now have to, to push through gummed up board states. All right, this is kind of sick, actually. If they... um. Yeah. Attack, we get to block, put the Nettle Cyst in the yard, and then play Forge Anew to bring back Nettle Cyst. That's, that's, that's what got cloaked. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> well, it's the same, right? They still just named the hammer. That's fine. Yeah, absolutely blocking. What are they putting it on? <laughs> It there. All right, I'm just gonna I'm gonna block the anti here. It is tempting to just also block with the Memnite here, just it's try just like to get the block. Asmo off the table. Yeah, I mean, but getting anti really off the bad, table is like really good too. <laughs> like, anti has yeah. gotta go into town as well. Also, like, if they just have a lightning bolt or a galvanic yeah, blast, yeah, like, just... is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Note that I probably will. I don't know what do we got. I will put the. Um, so they're gonna tap out to do this. I'll put the. We'll see. <laughs> I would have liked to been able to. Yeah, more trigger. Sure. Yeah. So, I guess the funny part is they don't actually have green mana right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this. Get me a nettle cyst. How big is it? Four four? Love it. <laughs> yeah. Um We don't have any mana left. Yeah, we can still move the yeah. the cyst to something, like the memnite, but I don't think that's worth it. Right. Because they're going to be sending with two four fours. Wait, we can. Yeah. We, uh, hmm. we can move the cyst for free, yeah. Um, but I think I'm just passing here. Letting it trade. Because I don't mind chumping. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think because if the oh, Stoneforge well, lives guess, another turn. Yeah, it depends on what they're getting here, I guess. Yeah. But that, that's why I was saying they don't have green mana currently. So they can't might, yeah. Because of Haywire might, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Okay, they grabbed uh, another cookbook. That checks out. Yep. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we can, like, chump with the Memnite here. And then we can start rebuying the cryptic coat with the stone forge and potentially dig ourselves out of this double mulligan. It's gonna be not easy. Not but. easy. Yeah, they have five cards in hand and an active asthma activation every turn. Oh boy. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, so it's like also if they hadn't had the the moon on time, we would have been able to surge there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so are we blocking here? Almost certainly with the Memnite. Yeah, man, we are under the gun here. Mm -hmm. But the surge, I mean, a, a well-timed surge could potentially put us in a spot that things work Jesus. out. Uh, 
that has trampled. This does not. All right, yeah. Now they should kill this right now. Like, there is no. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're just dead. <laughs> Great. Yeah, that was the beast. Yep. <laughs> we got beat by magic. Right. Yeah. Mad trick. <laughs> magic. <laughs> Magical. Magical. So magic. Yeah, that seemed uh, that seemed rough. That also just kind of generally seemed like a rough matchup. Um, you know, it is one of those like I mean, very red based removal decks at least. So if you are able to get under them, it can be kind of hard for them to break up. Like if we are able to establish a hammer, they did show us, of course, the the uh, the grudge there at the end. But um, so I think that matchup's very good. Really, very you would you very good. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Like so like so keep in mind we mulligan to five multiple times. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Fair. Against sevens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, they also fair. had like multiple hate pieces. Um like if we or like if they yeah, they had at least three specific sideboard cards game three, right? They had the moon, mm -hmm. the grudge, and the um there's one other card. Moon the grudge and I mean there was a needle. Maybe hammer. Yeah, the needle was made though. Yeah, um, I don't think there was jokes on them. That didn't there? do anything. No, it was, yeah. <laughs> they they needled game one. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying I don't I don't think there was a third card. I think it was mainly those two. That that moon really got us though. Okay. Yeah, I was like, all right, we already we already mold to to five, and then they sinkhole us on turn two. It's like, man, eh, yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, so this hand is not great, obviously. It's like, like no access it's to not hammer. incredible. But it does have a redraw on the Shadow Spear, turn one Esper Sentinel, um, and good mana. Yeah. And we're on the draw, so we have extra chances to to find one of our <clears throat> 14 hammers. Yeah. No, I like it. Oh, and our opponent's just passing. Love that. Wow. I don't know. Opponent. What? Wow. Are they on Dredge? Genuinely yeah. confused. I, they I mean, they mulliganed to six and then passed through. Uh, yeah, I have... Oh, sweet. All right, well, I'm going to do everything. Yeah, great. Yeah, now we get to play the Paladin and the Shadow Spear in one turn. Yep. If we so choose. What you doing, opponent? Okay. Okay. So you... They might have misclicked the, the keep as well. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, well, I wasn't sure before. You played the Inkwalker, Now right? I am. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, to set up the potential kill next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were just hovering the planes, uh, and I was like, wait, aren't we doing the other one? <laughs> I... Yeah, so I was definitely supposed to tap the Mem Knight. Because we're because suiting up to. the Esper, uh, yeah. But I mean, yeah. we just suit up the Mem Knight. We just move it, move yeah. it, yeah. It's fine. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a spicy one. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? What are we doing? I like cards. Oh, okay. Surreal. Is it Gorios? It might be Gorios. Hmm. All right. Oreos would be my best guess right now mm -hmm. <laughs> because they Delta found that surveilled Island into the yard. Easy move it back. Yeah. Thankfully it didn't, it didn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Could obviously be a bunch of different stuff, but Oreos would be my my pack one pick one if I oh it's mill okay what about mill <laughs> sure how sure, about, yeah. how about mill right. that definitely just accidentally skipped through their first turn that yeah if planes land sure okay we can beat mill yes yeah, when they time walk themselves on the play it, it certainly helps too. <laughs> that that yeah that is a that works in our favor. Okay. Uh, yeah. We can beat Mill. I'm, I'm a killer. <laughs> we, uh, we can beat Mill. 
What do you know? They die. Well, kind of. Well, they die. Well, we can't... Uh... Oh, no, they do die. Duh. Yeah, I was miscounting the mana. <laughs> no, no, they die. <laughs> they are, are in fact, like, super duper dead. Bunch of stack interaction in play. Yep, stag interaction. Not the, not the failures, nice though, right? That's just a crab. Yeah. So, funny thing about failure. Mm -hmm. If they mill over it, we can comply. <laughs> that is true. That is true. It is blind complies, but that is true. Yeah. Whereas, like, normally with comply, you have the information of, like, at least whatever you just failured. But, like, th yeah, they would have to be blind ones. And this is just like, we want to go fast and we want to protect our stuff. Yeah, pretty much. So it is a question. So the other thing is they do like surgical extraction hammer quite a bit. Ooh, yeah. So I like having these as options. Uh, Forge news reanimation ability is probably never more relevant. Uh, yeah. Um, you, so could, uh, you could soul guide yourself. You cannot. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the downsides yeah. uh, it's um, not relic I think might be a gift here and I'm fine just just having more than 60 cards against them yeah that's fine um, as yeah, long as you know you're not like, you're not like completely dumpstering your mana ratio like some people will dump like all yeah. 15 in and it's like eh. <laughs> no no, you you need your hand to like work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm not gonna play around archive trap here. So I'm gonna probably need to get the uh, get. As a. in, you're just gonna send them. It, I mean, the thing is, is, if you know you're gonna have to use your fetch lands, in a sense, you are playing around it by sending it early, at least. Yeah, yeah. Except by, if your opportunities to draw. Exactly, I do like yeah. that they mold the five. That's pretty. I do cool. too. I, I am a fan of that. I'm a fan of skipping first turn and also mulliganing to five the next game. That's great. Truly really top tier. Top tier content in the leagues. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, good for us. You know. I mean, it's not like I haven't misclicked through. All right. Well, I have oh, my course. first turn planned. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm playing. Oh. 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 Okay. Interesting. Well, now we might not have to. Now you really so... might not have to. That is three. Yeah, that I'm, is double white setup. That is three mana setup. Blue mana access. Now we really might not have to. Yep. Exactly. I was like, all right, I'm I'm good. I mean, the thing is, like, we are gonna be searching with the saga, but like, whatever. Yeah. I wonder if it is worth revisiting portable hole in the meta in the post band. It meta. is not. There you go. What a, <laughs> so I will say it's not, but it is not. <laughs> what, what makes you say that? What, may, what makes you kind of believe that that is that this is the right time? What do you want the hole for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you what do you see? It's like hmm, hole could be a you know the answer here. <laughs> Asmo. <laughs> yeah, but you can just like march or prismatic ending, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think hole is uh, it, it's feels. just like too narrow. We have, we have, uh, Travis, when are those tokens going to be available? So my understanding is that I should be getting them in the next like week or two. Um, yeah. So they, they've been finished. Um, I, and I asked like on dates, there were, you know, stuff happens, but, um, I, I'm very excited cause they look, they look awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. They're super cool. Surveil fail. Well, the other reason to avoid fetching early is it is it makes their um it makes their uh, drowning locks a lot worse. Mm -hmm. Deal. Well, now that's irrelevant, but <laughs> yeah, but like they had to do that. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, did we hit okay. the analysis there? Are you we got a code. Oh, we got a code. Okay, okay. I kind of like it. Yeah. Yeah, you just send it they here. Wanna, right? Yeah. If they want to counter this, so be it. If they want a surgical coat, so be it. Well, and like the counter for it would have to be like spell pierce spell or something. Pierce. Yeah. 
Oh man, if this all just happens, you just slap a hammer on it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yep. <laughs> this ain't bad. Surprise! Yeah, that was pretty good. It, it is a way to surprise Metalcraft. Funny. Mm. Oh yeah, and that's you know interesting. How I love funny. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> Big yeah. proponent of funny things in magic. <laughs> Um, the, uh, like the, the other reason that I don't like, um, portable hole is because people already are bringing in like artifact and enchantment hate against you. And mm. so when your removal spell gets blown up and they get their thing back, it feels so bad. Yeah. That, that is a trigger. They knew about it. <laughs> Where are my boots? <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish I had boots so bad. What in tarnation? Oh, I should have flipped it up. Oh yeah. True. <laughs> Um, oh, interesting. Okay. So, I think I'm just going to make a construct here. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it's good to do that. But, like, I mean, what did we just say earlier? You know, this is the time to get creative and think about your options and try maybe unconventional stuff. Um, that doesn't mean you shouldn't also then criticize those thoughts and all that, you know, and, and well, why would I do this and, and whatnot? And I, I, I like to, I, that reasoning right there of, you know, bringing, having a sideboard card that is weak to the things that they are already going to be bringing in against you is. Yeah. Like those kind of knock. questions I appreciate because it shows you put thought into why you were doing it. I mm -hmm. appreciate those questions genuinely. So right now we're super far ahead, right? So I'm figuring out how can we lose? Mm -hmm. And I think the way we lose is if they just like, if they go EE, -E, that's pretty bad. Like it's not that bad. We, so we can, I think we just needle. Yeah. And needle. E. Uh, one um, thing that occasionally I've run into with their deck is um, bridge. That is, for sure, but I, for but sure. I don't think anything we can do here other than grabbing an ornithopter <laughs> would, would yeah. play around that line. But bridge is something that historically mill players have, have been on. Yeah. I, I, I don't hate if grabbing don't the needle and just naming, and just naming E. It's either a needle or drum here, I think. What do you I want to do with like the, drum? the drum? More. Just like get the paladin? Oh, uh, we get to play the paladin, yeah. Okay. Um, or it lets us bounce the coat, which is sweet. Mm. I'll just shock, whatever. But yeah, I'm just going to play the Paladin while, uh, the while tap they are down. tapped out skis. Yeah. And this lets us You never know with the, You never know with the, the mill players. It's like, mm -hmm. are we playing into damnation? Like, I don't know, dude. Like, I never know what they're on. <laughs> right. Damnation wouldn't even like be that bad. So the yeah, um, with the nettle sister so hand especially. If we're if we're supposed to move anything to the paladin here, we could move For hammer what? to the paladin to prevent dismember. Uh, dismember. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I think they're they're I think mm -hmm. they're just on push and whatnot. I don't think they play dismember. Maybe they do. That's fine. Know. They have push and drown to be like hard removal spells. Either one's probably fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's Four up? one. <laughs> Four one. Okay. Not bad. All right. So we lost to Asmo, yeah. and that was some like rough beats. Um, yeah. I think we had like two really good matches. I mean, I would say three really good, three good matches. The, the Asmo one, they like kind of <laughs> slapped us around. Those first two matches were really good, though. I, they were very nice. Mm. And like one Tron match, we kind of ran over, and Mill, we just kind of ran over, but. Yeah, well, they well, also like skip their first turn. Like. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that that last one was like kind of okay. a non game. That other that other Tron was like almost a non game. But the first Tron and what was the first match? Do you remember? It was Tron. Then what was the second match? It was the first two oh, matches. Um, I was thinking were like really good games. I can't remember what the other one. Oh, the was. Shadow. Yeah, shadow. yeah, yeah, yeah. That or, Shadow one. That one was really was, interesting. Yeah, it was no blue Shadow. Yeah. Yeah, those those were my two favorite matches of, of this league. They they were like very interesting, very close matches. Um, yeah. it was also a very weird league. <laughs> we saw Tron <laughs> twice, and the rest of it was like pretty bizarre. Which um, is honestly, I I love that. Like I appreciate that. Yeah, that's magic. Um, it also, know. 
it it goes back to you shouldn't have your sideboard too narrow. Yeah. Like you want if you absolutely have to beat something specific, sure. But that's why I prefer cards like ending and failure to comply rather than like strict proc. Yeah. These come in in just a lot. I mean, they needle, have much wider needle is like, like so wide, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, no more call people. That is that is something that people are, are bringing up a lot. They, I think we should talk about both Ginger Brute and Cauldra. Yeah. Maybe reiterate, even if it's just what we were saying at the beginning. True. Yeah, no, no Cauldra and no Ginger Brute. So, uh, the the reasoning on both basically. No, no, yeah, you, you're totally good. Asking, um, we we've been getting that question a lot tonight. Anyways, um, they just don't feel particularly useful right now i would say I, i'd be closer to still wanting to play ginger brute than cauldra myself um i think cauldra right now it's just so vulnerable to so many things like so many decks that are popular right now are just have access to exiling removal whether it's like leyline binding or haywire might or whatever there's just like a, there's like a bunch of ways to answer the culture right now and then what travis was pointing out before was you'll hit decks like the domain zoo deck and if you are not suiting that culture up with a hammer then they'll just race you with the scion in the air that has lifelink you know the flying lifelink 4-4 four four is going to race your 5-5 five five culture and if you're suiting up a hammer well, you don't really need the cauldron to be doing that anyways. You know, now you're that the cauldron doesn't really need to be a part of that equation. Um but yeah, you yeah. You, you speak on it. What do, what do you think? Yeah. So so basically, the meta used to be there was like a large chunk of it, 20ish percent plus, mm -hmm. where if you stuck a cauldron, the game ended. And that's because Racto scam is really really bad at killing indestructible things. Yeah. Um since Racto Scam fell off, this is more or less what the metagame looks like. Yeah, obviously, Goldfish statistics a little off. And so, basically, I, I decided to cut Cauldra, or at least try it, right? Like, maybe it's like, oh, we missed Cauldra, so we need to bring it back. Um, but, like, I want to try it without it to see if it, it's better. Um, and so, the reason I am, a, am kind of off it right now is because when I was doing my sideboard mapping, and this is usually what kind of helps me navigate my decisions, I realized the main constructions of domain zoo as well as um domain zoo and i guess the the rhinos decks right mm -hmm. you don't even really want it against them right so even if they don't have the scion the, the scion ley line start to race it what can happen is yeah they can ley line it or they use their bolt or their tribal flames to kill your stone forge which means you have a dead card in hand and then they attack for you know anywhere between two and seven damage um and if cauldra like it, it's a high risk play right unless you have like the drum into stone forge hold up surge put cauldra in um I'm, like it's a high risk play which is a enjoyable gameplay pattern but if that high risk play is not paying you out Basically, as much as you're risking, then it's probably worth reevaluating and not playing. Um, if you look at the list, this list, like, you can cast everything. These are the two cards we cut. You can just, like, cast Coat, cast Nettle Cyst, um, and, like, there's something to be said for that. Mm -hmm. um, Nettle Cyst, like, Nettle Cyst is definitely the card I'm least confident in, but I yeah. think it's the best option. Um, Sword of Fire and Ice is a card that people play, but, like, you, you can't put Sword of Fire and Ice on a Cryptic Coated creature or the Cryptic Coat falls off because it has protection from blue. Which is hilarious. Uh, what about Ginger Brew? <laughs> that's, that's the one I'm... Like, Cauldra, I can I can super be like, yeah, whatever, Cauldra. I, I can be off Cauldra easy. Sure. But the, the Ginger Brew, I feel like, yeah. is a more crucial piece that I was surprised to see uh, gone. Yeah. So it took exactly me realizing my opponent could Gorio's Vengeance and Atraxa on my turn to block the Ginger Brute to get me off of it. Oh, because it gives it haste. <laughs> it gives it haste. Um, no, but like, so that was kind of the final straw. Like I was yeah. cutting it in some of those matchups. And it's like, it's obviously heinous <laughs> against Yawgmoth. Um, it's, it's not very good against Gorios because they're good at kind of attacking both halves of the combo. Um, Domain Zoo, it's like, no, fine not good against yogmoth because yogmoth can ping it orcish bowmasters can ping it yeah 
Okay. Yeah, it, it's it, just like just vulnerable. That thing's never. Yeah, it's 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 too easy to interact with. Um, yeah. Amulet Titan, it's like nah, you need you need specific tools, not a gingerbread. And gingerbread's like fine. Like if you really wanted to play gingerbread, you absolutely could. You just cut a memnite, play the gingerbread. But I like. It's been kind of sweet to go like. Like we, we had multiple games where we were just like turn one Urza Saga drum zero drop. And you're well, like, that oh, yeah, actually leads really into up. the next question of, well, with us playing these other Mem Knights and whatnot, what, a, I mean, is fourth drum a consideration? I think it's reasonable. Yeah. Um, the reason that I want the cyst is because with the two Steel Shapers gifts, which have felt quite good, because when you have a bunch of quote unquote air in these zeros, mm -hmm. you want high payoffs like Steel Shaper's Gift to help close the gap on your combo. Yeah. Um, and so Steel Shaper's Gift is great. But like you want multiple pieces that you can grab when you don't have one of your 10 equippers in play. Yeah. Um, Those value pieces. Uh, and Nettles is, yeah. It's like, yeah, these, it's are, just these like, are just I kind feel, of fine cards. Like Cryptic Coat was a good printing. It filled, I yeah. think, the slot that um, the the microchip was filling better. I think it just it, it <laughs> took the it took so the bad. chip and was like, all right, th this is this is that, but a little bit better. It's not just because they're both blue, like you know, it, it just I don't know, it, it it just feels like that did that part better. But now it does kind of feel like we're waiting for like that one more good thing because cyst for me just I don't know. It's very medium. It feels so yeah. medium. <laughs> it feels so, it feels like, like I'm using a card to play an Urza Saga construct, and that feels so bad. <laughs> like I'm like, I already got two of these out of my land. <laughs> yeah. And I know it's, it's also a three right drop. Yeah. yeah. Um Nettle Cyst is is fine. I will probably cut Nettle Cyst when we get the boots. Yeah. Boots, man, boots are great. I'm excited um, for those boots. I'm excited because while we were I'm playing there, I was definitely thinking, like, ooh, this would be an interesting spot for those boots. You know, that kept uh, that I think game. I literally said it. I was like, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah you were like, boots? where's our boots? Yeah, do you, do you still have that picture just so we can show people that might not be? Do you have that open somewhere? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll uh, yeah, uh we'll show you guys the boots. There they are. There you go. So, this was uh, this was spoiled today, um, for Thunder Junction. One drop, so we're getting it off Saga. One to equip, nice and cheap. Gives a thing 1-0, haste, and ward one. So, you know, this this plays super nicely with Saga. Obviously, you go make a token, untap, make a token, get this, play your land for turn, equip this to the token you just made on your turn. And Saga alone, not counting any other permanents, you're slamming for seven right there. You got a 3-3 three, three that you made, and you've got a 4-3 that you just made that turn and have now hasted up and has ward um so that this this card looks like it'll potentially you know soup up urza saga a bit um and it, i mean just starting to make like every one of our threats off the top now uh haste enabled yeah. that's big that's something cookie monster wasn't doing before you know uh yeah. it, cookie the, monster felt pretty bad to just like draw yeah if you weren't specifically looking for the cookie monster it was always like eh, okay whatever um, one of the things you were talking about, if you've this got a board also, state, oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. This also like with the coat, you just like can play coat, pay one, move this over, attack for four unblockable damage. Yeah. With, with two instances of ward. Yeah. They have, you have ward like two three and ward one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's really nice. You were saying oh, things like, you know, ink moth off the top. Now, if you got a, if you've got the stuff to set mm -hmm. it up, you know, we, I, I find myself in that spot a lot where it's like, oh, sweet, Ink Moth. Okay, now next turn I can set up a kill. Well, now if you've got the boots, it's like, oh, I'm killing him this turn with the top decked Ink Moth, you know? Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And that Ward 1 is really yeah. nice. The fact they, they have the... I, I feel like that card could have really easily got printed without the Ward 1. That Ward 1 is like a really nice touch that I think will... Uh, you know, you get to go to equip that first and check their mana and all that kind of stuff. Um I, I, I think that one looks pretty good. People said it wasn't good enough. I we'll see. You know, we'll see. I didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was good enough at first, and then the kind of the more I've like mulled over it because it has so much text. It has all these cards have so much text. It has a lot of like, good um, text. It has a lot of a lot of. There's a lot about it to like. I think. Like I thought this card sucked, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then yeah. I played with it. I'm like, oh, and then you really read the really book, and we're like, well, maybe. <laughs> Um, exactly like yeah yeah i i think it is 
certainly clearing the bar of worth testing for sure those boots specifically yes. definitely clearing the bar of worth worth checking out at the very least um so yeah this is kind of where i'm at the sideboard you can kind of tweak around as you want mm -hmm. um but we did get to see like i think this is more the crusher bot style of this like game one you just like jam hammers until it works and they die yeah. um which certainly there is appeal to that um I do like, uh, I have considered playing a mantle again because you do have the, the steel shapers. Gift. That's what I was going to ask and... when I mentioned the fourth drum. These, these play so nicely together. Yeah, yeah, they do. Um, another like, another question. Um, another question that was brought up earlier, which is, is something that's kind of been the case for now, but it's, you know, it's whatever. It's worth talking about was um, the absence of giver. Yeah. Um, yeah, card sucks right now. There you go. <laughs> pretty, um I mean, so it goes simple. like it, it, yeah it, it it goes back to the similar reason that i think ginger brute's pretty bad it's because people are very good at attacking your non-creatures and giver can't protect those right so like yeah. like i would play surge three and four before i played giver one or two right now yeah um those things we were answering like, before that all answer things. saga you know these are the same things that are getting answered that you just can't protect with Gibber. And it's like, well, <laughs> if they get rid of your hammer, it doesn't really matter, you know, that that you could give her the, the creature to protect it. <laughs> um, you also We also have the coat exactly. now yeah. for evasion, so you don't need, like, the Gibber as badly to push through gummed up boards. This gets through them much better. And that's kind of the thing, right? Coat just kind of is doing a lot of different roles all in one card. Yeah, I've been mentioning it a lot, being like, you don't really need this because Coat does it now. But it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's more yeah, than like... one thing that I've said that to now. <laughs> it, that is a good point. It is really yeah. just filling a lot of roles. Which, you know, does make you wonder. Yeah, maybe, it, maybe it is worth playing a second one, but I still just see it as one of those toolbox cards. You have a lot of ways to find it. And I don't know, I... You are, we're, we're basically already playing seven of them, you know? It's like... Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, and, and the you're, second you're one doesn't seven. add seven more. It just adds one more, you know? So it's like, eh. Exactly. The only reason, of course, that the thought being that, like, if you play your first and it is answered, like, the, because we are saying that, you know, a lot of the times they're answering the thing and not the creature that, like, you know, maybe wanting to have another piece for it, another piece to grab. But, another piece yeah. is, like, it can... It can protect itself. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The fact that right, it's it's, it's like, the modern age's batter skull, right? You know, it has that it has that yeah. whole batter skull thing going on. Um, so if you like play towards protecting it, you usually can protect it. One coat, one, one shadow coat. spear, and four hammers, and just like not even bother so, with the metal cyst. Yeah. So what do you want to? Play I mean, this is where you could play. You could you could play Cookie Monster. You could play Fourth Drum if you want to try that. Um, you could play another Mem Knight. I mean, I think there's a handful of things play you could play. Yeah, I don't know. Nettlesis has been fine. Yeah, <laughs> like, just, it's, I don't know. I'm it's just been so fine. underwhelmed by it. Like I, I yes, yeah, I, I am like always looking for a reason to not play that card. <laughs> I mean, I I get it. I don't yeah. disagree with you. Yeah. Um, but it's just like. Like in a lot of those grindy matchups, sometimes you're all right, cool. Like, like if they didn't have the if yeah. the Asmo deck hadn't had the ancient grudge, we were probably actually in good shape, right? Right. Oh yeah, they. I was just like, man, they drew so many spells game one. I was like, oh yeah, like <laughs> they hit land two on like turn eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they never did. They didn't need second <laughs> land because they had the mocks and and they were producing treasures with Ragaman and whatnot. So. Sist is also really nice. It plays really nicely with like Esper Sentinel. It's just a card that you don't need any of your equippers for it to be completely reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm at. Um, I, I, it uh, feels but... like, um, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it does feel a little bit like Hammer is like a little bit in flux right now. You're not feeling super yeah. solid on the 75 right now. You, Yeah. Uh, the uh, I think the main I'm like pretty locked in. I mm -hmm. the Memonites have been really impressive. I, I I've been very surprised at how good they felt. Um, 
But yeah, like I'm, I mean, I'm pretty, pretty locked on like everything but the nettle cyst. But mm-hmm. I just like I don't think there's anything I want to play instead of it. That's that's the um, issue. It's just like what's better, you know? What's what's yeah. the other option? I don't even know. Call like you play another gift <laughs> if you want, but like then you're definitely flooding on equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could um, still play the cauldron if you want to still play the cauldron. Like you, you know, it's. I I, I think yeah. I think that's a you know. A reasonable wiggle room spot i don't think losing out on cyst is going to be the end of the world and if you want to play some one of the other cards that were cut here you could yeah that's probably fine yeah yeah Cyst weakest card in the 75 or in the 60 at least um and then yeah I, I, the failure to complies have been very good obviously we just have never played against titan which is not something that happens in paper unfortunately mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um but yeah, I mean, I want four surge in the 75. Spell Pierce is quite good right now. Soul Guide Lantern has enough utility to where I like it. You can play a different graveyard hate piece. I don't think there's a huge gap between the three. I think I like Soul Guide Lantern because of the specific benefits it provides against like uh, the Gorios deck specifically. But yeah. I mean, um, it doesn't matter that much. The uh, Beef is asking. Um curious about the interesting green white hammer list that is tuned for yog that i don't know about you from yeah let me see if i can find it real quick yeah so they're playing like three cursed totems and four maliras oh man (laughs) (laughs) Uh, that's Um, that's wild which is really cool i was like oh that's super sick and then i remembered like card's bad (laughs) lira yeah i mean we were Um, talking about the you know green giving you access to haywire might and potentially pick your poison which has seeming it seemed to be a pretty powerful sideboard card um yeah let me see if i can find it real quick okay i found it um here we go okay so yeah so they are one thing i will note is that they are they're very low this by the way um this is a different person mario gomez all right this is um yeah, so he played in a prelim. He also, like, 5 would an LCQ, I think, with this. Forge um, but basically, this dude, he, like, this guy has been playing Forge Tender for years. For years. Um, I don't I don't get it, but whatever. Um, <laughs> for what it's worth, I think Forge, Forge Tender is better now than it has ever been, because when they play Leyline, all of their stuff is red. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty funny. <laughs> um, that being said, he's like pretty low on artifacts i think um this is a weird list so yeah sort like so when i'm evaluating artifacts, deck haywire mites what the hell yeah dude i don't, I don't know man um but like you said hammers and flux so when yeah. we're evaluating artifact count i don't count cauldra because that yeah. means you've gotten it into play right? right so we're looking at only one drum effect too which oh wow sure yeah yeah uh so one sophie a drum shadow spear so that's seven well, artifacts well, yeah only one drum because there's zero mem knights or ornithopters correct um and also yeah so we have seven right there i'm gonna count gift so that's eight and then you can count stoneforge kind of so like 12 12 plus 6 is I was really confused why in the images for the deck it's Cigar to say Hammer and then a guy in power armor. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's the Paladin. The, yeah, I forgot the Paladin got the uh, the power armor. I was like, it's, wait, I mean, ooh, that can't be right. <laughs> um, oh, wow, interesting. So, Going to straight up zero ornithopters. Yeah. So... That list has um, how many artifacts? Did we say like eighteen max, right? Uh, three, six, ten. I don't. I don't need to click on that. Three, six, ten, eleven, um, eleven plus seven. So I mean, if you're just 16, not counting culture, yeah. So eighteen. Yeah. yeah, and we're not counting culture. That's yeah. that's bananas. Um, yeah. Eighteen, and we're looking at. 26 um so it's one of those things like i don't know man this is not the list i would play but clearly like i think his real name's ricardo a uh, very good player um i 
obviously disagree with some of the decisions he's made. Um, I think, I do think playing some number of Haywire Might and, I don't know, Haywire Might, I guess he doesn't have Pick Your Poison. If I'm playing green, I'm definitely playing Pick Your Poison. All right, there's I a would definitely want to try it, yeah. That, that card's been really good. But, yeah, the, the fact the that this least. doesn't do anything against anything that is not Yawgmoth, like, that's that's a little insane to me. Cursed Totem does have some overlap. Mm-hmm. Um and then strict proctor. I feel like if you're gonna play green, you just you just play some prick your poisons, and that helps your your Titan matchup as well. Would be my guess. Um, oh yeah, it's a one mana answer to a lot of their garbage. Yeah, um, let me see real quick. It's so, like if we were to make this green, what would we do? Probably have to cut up planes for the. Definitely cutting this piece. No of coat. Shit. Uh, yeah, we're def- well, we're we're playing code. We're gonna make it banned. Oh, okay. We're gonna go. Th- interesting. It is, well, it's, that's it's my favorite color right combo in Magic. So um, <laughs> it's, it's good. It's the only. I'm listening. There now. there aren't a lot of <laughs> like shards that I'd be like, oh, that seems like a nice place to live. But Bant seems Bant's very beautiful. I, I I use Bant planes in my hammer deck. Yeah, Bant's Bant's okay. nice. Just a bunch of knights first, first riding around on lions. Yeah. So. And then and weirdly, also, lion people it. are hanging out there, too. <laughs> yeah, why not? Bant people like kitty cats, I guess. Which um, I'm all for, you know? Uh, probably a haywire might. Yeah, sure. And then... I don't think I'm playing more than one haywire might in the main. No, no, no. Um, no. Yeah, 4-1. One loss was to Asmo. We mulliganed a lot, which was admittedly a bad plan. <laughs> <laughs> um, kind of planes. Should have just oh, like. So I will say, kind of hate these cards. <laughs> well, oh, the secret. I I am very close to just adding an eighth fetch and a third hollowed fountain. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's a ton that's punishing you from doing that right now anyways. Nah, not a lot of burn. Um, but yeah, so whatever. Those, yeah, just do that and then... Well, I think you're also incentivized to to make that swap anyways when you are playing three colors now. To just have the more, just yeah. more access to your, your splashes. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um... And then, yeah, that's probably about what I do. You could maybe cut one other random card. Yeah, <laughs> that's so. That's the other problem. Like, I would need to do all the sideboard mapping yeah. to figure out. All right, how many victory poisons do you actually want? Um, is it actually worth the green splash at that point? Because, like, it. I know it's like quote unquote technically free if you have the Temple Garden, but like. It is extra life you're paying. Like, that can matter. Like, there were games against, uh, like, the Shadow deck, I think, that were, like, exceptionally close on life total. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like, it's not actual free, uh, but I would start with something like this. Cut one of these cards at random. Maybe a, sec- a third <laughs> really? curse totem. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, man. Sometimes you just got to go by vibes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, yeah, going to like two totems or maybe you're just like three surges and you're 75 or something. Also, like, like you said, you'd have to like look like at all the matchups and do your, do your mapping. Yeah. 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 Failure to comply is awesome. Um, Forge tender. I think that card sucks. <laughs> like, I think that card's just very bad. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, um, I don't know, know what's up with that. I will say it's probably good against red cards. Um, I will give them that. Yeah, no, almost certainly. <laughs> Four Just, givers, yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, when this was this recent? Oh my god, this was yesterday. That's, yeah. It was a prelim. Gotcha. They, oh, and they, they went only two, went two, two, two. It's not even like yeah, okay. But he uh, he did five zero a uh, um uh one of the LCQs for the mocks. Yeah. Yeah. Crusher bot's the other guy who like he's just like he's on his own thing. He's always played his own yeah, kind of world. The eight zeros, yeah. 
Yeah, the eight zeros, the zero. And the four gifts. He's always playing like a million gifts. Yep. Um, which a million gifts is better when you have like a billion little yeah. things to grab. <laughs> That's true. Like, admittedly. Yeah. The cranial um, plating really throws me off. So I think cranial plating is actually like a reasonable card. Um, what? I, d- I wouldn't play it. Well, yeah, it's fine, right? Like it's it's like. I don't giving, know. It was you know, it was fine in like affinity two. days, but it's like our, I don't know if we're producing enough for that to be. Well, so he worth. probably is. Yeah, fair. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is true. Like, it is like affinity. Like there has, are four mem knights and four ornithopters. Yeah, so we're yeah, like we're doing yeah, artifact now, right? So that's fourteen, uh, eighteen, twenty six, twenty or thirty. It's like he does have a lot of artifacts. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah so <laughs> um yeah i mean anyway went off on the the different schools of thought on hammer yeah, i don't think we need the pick your poisons yeah you can it's fine but I, I really like where this list is at it felt pretty good like we had a lot more fast like all right turn two, kill you <laughs> yeah 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 we had some really nice hands like that that was good yeah let me balance out but yeah so that's that's kind of where i'm at so there you go. That's uh, Three. the current state of Hammer. You know, things still kind of getting uh, hammered out, if you will. But uh, I think, yeah, it does feel like it's in a in a you know reasonable place. If you wanna if you wanna play Hammer, you you can probably play it, and it's not it's not like it's an embarrassing place to be right now or anything like that. Like some people might suggest. Never gonna be sad about a four one. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, cool. Well. Right. I guess that's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, a reminder, I, I'm sure you're going to have, it's almost the end of the month. Uh, every month he, he comes out with a uh, a Patreon. I'm sure most of you know by now, but he, he's got a Patreon breakdown about all of this, uh, his current deck list and why he's got all these card choices and everything. A lot of what we just went over today, um, but, you know, I'm sure you'll have it. He'll have it in word form, ready, you know, in yeah. document form that you can read at your own pleasure. And he's got sideboard guides and all all that kind of good stuff. So, uh, you know, de- highly recommend uh, joining that Patreon. It's it's if you are trying to play Hammer right now, it is it is the resource to get. So, um, and we do this stuff here all the time. So if you guys uh, are enjoy these streams, uh, I, like Travis and I have been doing quite a few of these. Um, this is like the main time i play magic now i've been doing all kinds of other stuff but it's like you know well this is the one we we do so if you guys are enjoying this stuff remember to to follow here and he's always good about you know posting on twitter when we're when we're going to be doing these and whatnot so um yeah hopefully more of these in the future and uh yeah that's it 